Welcome to another episode of The Bastard Sermon. I'm one of your three hosts, Cody Hucker. Patrick Zeta. And Luke Young. And this week, we've got on Cincinnati comedian Ran Barnaclo from the Rumble Lips podcast. Give it up, motherfuckers! <laughs> Thank you so much for coming on, Ran. Talk yeah, so man. they know what you sound like. Yeah, this is what I sound like. Here it is. What if I just got on this podcast and fully clammed up? <laughs> it's like happened. Like we were having fun before this, and <laughs> yeah. then I was just like, "Bro, it happens all of the yeah, time. It happens more often than you think." I like how you guys have a video set up, though. I can't, I can't do a video on Rumble Lips because, like, I'd have to have like a GoPro. Yeah, people would just throw up and looking at the underside of my face. So I was like, "Man, <laughs> I, I like a video podcast." So you guys got a cool hookup. Thanks, man. Thanks, yeah, man. you were telling us you record yours right from your phone a lot of the time, like yeah. with a little, a little mic hookup that you've got on the bottom of it. What if you Instagram yeah. lived it at the same time? See, that's what I thought, but then I was like, nobody's, it just made me sad to see that only three people watched it. <laughs> <laughs> and like, if I saw that three people were viewing a live episode and I knew all their names, I, I would think they were fucking weird. That's, like you know what I mean? No, like, I do. That's why I don't look at our YouTube page. Like yeah, yeah there's no yeah. traffic <laughs> yeah. on any video streams. Yeah. yeah, like unless you're like Joe Rogan, you know what I mean? Yeah, and you have like Pope Mark or whatever, whoever he gets on there. But like you have like nobody wants to fucking see me walk around. I mean, not saying now it just sounds like I'm shitting on you guys, <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not. I'm not. Man, like, nobody wants to see your little stupid podcast. You know you who's here. gonna watch this video? Me. I'm gonna watch it and be like, God damn, that white shirt looks good. That's all I'm gonna think. <laughs> I'm gonna be like, Oh fuck yeah, man, a white shirt on a video podcast, you fucking marshmallow. That's what I'm gonna think. <laughs> Yeah, you were telling me outside when I went to go fucking get you because I was very confused going outside, yeah. like looking around, looking for Rand Barnaclo. Because I guess I should set this up before I say this. This is the first time meeting you is here in the podcast. We yeah. have all of 10 minutes of conversation. I've and seen you before, though. Like, we've, ta we've talked a little bit before. We have? I think so. I'm a drunk, so yeah. these conversations are... No, uh, like, I've never... Like, I, it's not something you have to think about the whole time. Like, oh, what did I talk about? But I've seen you. I've seen you up at Go Bananas, the comedy club before. Oh, yeah. I've been uh, up yeah, at yeah, Go Bananas yeah. a bunch of times to see, like, Jeff Tate and shit and different yeah. live shows. And saw Stan Hope recently, and that was fucking awesome. Do yeah. You, you prime... Is that, like, your home spot? Is that, like... That's my home club, yeah. How yeah, does that bananas. shit? How does that shit work? How do you? Oh, we're we're jumping topics. We didn't fucking. I didn't finish the first thought before I got to the other one. Yeah. But uh, yeah, fucking Danny Babcock, who just painted the Go Bananas fucking mural. graffiti mural, yeah. or whatever. Looks that we fantastic. Had on the it looks great. That dude's a killer artist. Absolutely. Out Super there good. slinging art and dick. He's killing yeah. it right now. I love what he set this up though, and it was just the weirdest fucking way to to meet a person ever. Like he put us both in a group, and he was like, "You do podcast, you do comedy, talk." And I was like, "Yeah, yeah." Uh, how's this gonna work this is gonna be weird then i gotta it's like sit a blind there and, date it's a, it's a weird yeah, awkward dude. experience trying to get somebody on a podcast and then you know fucking talk it's not it that out weird i mean it, it would be different if you were like hey man i live in lexington i'd be like hey man cool yeah go <laughs> fuck yourself nice to meet you yeah <laughs> but you were like i live in cincinnati i live in cincinnati i was like okay i'll fucking go over there it's a 13 minute drive from my front door right from here yeah. works out dude that's really quick it's yeah it's very doable live in norwood dog boy nor hood out there with the fucking psychopaths dude <laughs> there's What's some weird the ones out there this there is, is the just people. dudes there are just dudes that hang out in lawn chairs at the norwood white castle they yeah. just fucking hanging out in the parking lot the like, same just, psychos <laughs> that live in covington or whatever that are out at the fucking the yeah. gas station grilling out and barbecuing and i'm like what the fuck is happening right yeah. here how's this legal that shit that shit rules these dudes aren't <laughs> even eating white castle they're just hanging out in the parking lot it's like not a parking lot conducive for hanging out either it's in a loop yeah so these dudes are just in a pocket of the loop and people are like <laughs> and there's no way out so these dudes are just fucking there since the sun came up, why they've do you think been they there. do that? Because they're fucking dicks, dude. and because <laughs> no they white do it maliciously, because they hate their wives, dude. <laughs> they have nothing else to do. With and because no time. White Castle's employee is getting paid enough money to go and talk to the psychos outside Facts. that are in lawn chairs in the Norwood fucking White Castle dude. and tell them to fuck right off, or even call the police on them, because for sure you're getting rocks thrown at your window and they're taking shits on the floor, and they might go to jail, but they'll fucking be back with more <laughs> rocks and more back. shits to take on the floor. You're thinking of a different type of person that hangs out in a White Castle parking lot and i know the line you're going these are old white dudes 
Okay. Like in their That's 70s? That's what I was thinking. Like in their, they ain't taking shits and throwing rocks, dude. They're barely <laughs> fucking hanging on in these lawn chairs. They <laughs> melting under the goddamn sun. They're not, if somebody came out to talk to them, they'd be like, I've been trying to fucking move for three hours. I'm not, I'm, I'm not doing this on purpose because I'm mean. I'm, I'm, I'm sick. I'm old and I'm sick. I'm trapped <laughs> here in White Castle. You think I want to be here? Yeah, dude. I don't want to be here. <laughs> I haven't been able to leave. That's why I'm here. <laughs> but dude, what a park bench, a fucking a bus stop seat. You don't have to get on the bus, my dude. You're th- their old asses could hang out there. Oh yeah, but why? it's far away. White Castle, you know, who doesn't want to hang out in the White Castle? Think of all the benefits. Me. The smells. <laughs> huh? Fighting raccoons away from your lawn chair. Uh, other night creatures that are wandering around the, the wilds of from Norway. All the cars. Yeah, driving. the high beams, the bugs, <laughs> the fucking overwhelming smell of trash, the oily parking lot. It sounds it's like, like a, a cr- fucking uh, dream, dude. Oh my beach God. Beach for them. Dude, I just, I, I can't fucking, you're telling me they're out at night because you're talking night creatures, raccoons and possums and fucking yeah. lions and tigers and bears. Oh my, like yeah. they're out at night. These yeah. old fucking men from day to night. Get the fuck. Is this one real? Them, Are you yeah. just setting this I up to, to you, try to fuck with us right I, now? I, I swear to you. It. See, I, one of you, trashy one of the dudes happen. drives like a dope ass Harley and he's like what? showing it off every day. No, see, that's like yeah. park next, They always sit next to it. Yeah, but then he's got these other fucking hanger honors that don't even have motorcycles that are just like, I know the guy with the cool motorcycle. I fucking think that guy's the head of it. Is that dude he's hanging out there the because he's been kicked out of every other shitty biker bar in Norwood yeah, it's already? Probably a huge douchebag. Yeah. No, he, he's, it's because he's like got kicked out of the Arby's parking lot. So he's like, what's <laughs> see, another I was just... shitty restaurant I could hang out near? <laughs> I was just going to fucking say, like, I had, I had known groups of people to hang out and like, piece of shit fast food like parking lots but i never knew that there was just old people just could chilling you, in white castles you imagine like, I would well, always see, like, Steve. fucking like y- like kids our age or, or younger with like beat up honda civics or yeah. something with like underglow lights yeah, and then they buzz <laughs> out of there at like three in the morning and then they crash and die and then there's another high school car accident tragedy. could you imagine being the type of person that's like coming home and they walk in the apartment and, and they're, your girlfriend's like, what were you doing all night? And he's just like, what do you think I was doing? I was hanging out at Burger King. Leave me the fuck alone. I got to be social. You know what I mean? Nobody. Dude, you got to be a different person probably into like you're, hentai. Like, you're giving the dudes the, the worst <laughs> life. Probably. You're giving the dudes that fucking yeah. hang out in, uh, you, the, in Burger King parking lot too much credit. They don't have an apartment or a girlfriend. That's, That's also true. where they live. Yeah. All right, That is their house. Maybe, but I like to think Slash that the spot. dude like has it together enough. To just be above board. <laughs> you know what I mean? To just be like, I got an apartment, I got a girlfriend, and I'm having a, I'm having a good time with my buddies at the at fucking White Castle. Chili's parking lot. But then you go to his house, <laughs> yeah. you meet his girlfriend, it's an anime body pillow. It's yeah, a, yeah, This yeah. is Lisa that I've been telling you about. Like, oh, <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah. She's looking for the school. fire exit and shit. Yeah, his girl's just like, I wish you wouldn't hang out down there. You this, is worse than, this is worse than the time you hung out for four months at a macaroni grill. <laughs> or you go to his apartment and you understand why he's hanging out at the Chili's parking lot. Yeah. <laughs> I just feel like a Chili's parking lot almost is about to break out into like a flea market setting. You know what I mean? It's like just people about. just people pop come there their trunks and they're like, I got $15 Marvel Legends. And then one guy's like, I'm selling butterfly knives. And like people got <laughs> flying squirrels, those pet flying squirrels and shit. That's a Chili's parking lot at for, any moment. At any, it could just pop yeah. off. It could just be wild Chili's fucking free for you know all right I there. Could, in I the could streets. see that happening in like an Amelia or Batavia type yeah, Chili setting. That's what I mean. They're just like, fuck it, dude. I got to unload these Confederate flag han- handkerchiefs somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Chili's parking lot. If I wouldn't have stepped over handkerchief, that would have fucking ruled that joke. God it damn was it. Still, it was still quality. It's it okay. Landed. Edit it out. <laughs> That'll absolutely happen. Yeah. I'll get right yeah. on that. Dude, edit it out live. Me editing this podcast is literally, I, I buy a 12-pack, I drink it all, and I try <laughs> desperately to piece this thing together yeah. without falling asleep on the keyboard and ruining everything. Sometimes I wake up with no memory of editing the podcast. It's fucking Saturday. The podcast is coming out Sunday. I'm like, what the fuck? I didn't do the podcast. And I click on my computer files to get started, like sweating the booze out from the night before. <laughs> fucking get right onto the files. It's all there. It's all done. And I'm like, for sure this is the first episode and it's, it's got rules. fucking Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles in the background or something's <laughs> fucked up. Yeah. And I click on it, all works. And I'm like, how the fuck did I do that? And I was like, I got to do the Photoshop. 
pictures file, bam, it's there. I was like, thank you, drunk Cody. I don't know how you fucking managed yeah, to that do that rules. and sleep on the floor with the fucking wine bottle pouring out onto the carpet. You make, but like, having a terrible, like, problem to deal with seem beneficial. Yeah. Somehow like it works for me. <laughs> like, the other day, I woke up... This is a sad thing to admit about yourself, and it's not the first time. So I've been, ever since Allie moved in, and she sleeps on the good side of the bed, the, the side that my big fat ass has been sleeping on for fucking years now, it's got a nice, what we call, it's the crater, right? Yeah. It, crater. It's a, but it's a good crater. Like, you fucking get it's in there. It's a cradle. Like what do you like, got? Like, you're not that fat. What do you got? Thick bones or something? I'm 215. I'm a little fat. I'm just <laughs> you're, like, not that, you're not fat enough to be putting fucking take, dents and take my shirt up. Look, it, it looks like rotten cantaloupe in here. And <laughs> fucking, it looks like fucking crazy. It looks, like, it looks like chicken skin is what it looks like, my man. <laughs> Unbreaded chicken. Yeah, you look like chicken fucking... skin with pubes Put that on motherfucker it, in the oven for at least a minute, dude. It please. looks like a raw piece of chicken dropped on the floor and you picked it up and there's dog what do you hair do stuff for, too. And what do you what do you do for a living? Work in a cave shirtless? <laughs> Jesus Christ, you're white as shit. <laughs> well, I'm a cook. I sit yeah. inside of a kitchen when other people are outside, oh, you know, yeah, getting like, tanned. He only gets to work in the walk in. <laughs> Yeah. Freezers. Yeah. Don't let the customer see him. <laughs> no windows for you, bat. <laughs> <laughs> and take that stupid spike fucking jacket off. Too. Yeah. You're no, gonna, but you're so, gonna cut up all the fruit on accident. <laughs> <laughs> so, no. so she. But I, I gotta finish this thought though. So I, she's got the good crater, and next to the good crater is the nightstand or the, the the beer holder, as I call it, and fucking. That's where I have the bed beers or the bed bottle of wine or the bed, bed beers. beers. Never Whatever. heard that bed one bugs. before. You got to think about bed that. Bed bugs, lice, you yeah. know. Yeah. Beers. So, now, she sleeps on that because she Can she's, I say something real quick? For sure you can. Dude, okay. I get <laughs> I get a glass of wine in bed. Not you a glass I mean? of wine. I'll get to it. I get a glass of wine in bed. But the, Here it comes. But the trashiest thing in the world <laughs> is a 24-ounce can of PBR in bed. Yeah, it's bad. like, hey, man, drink it in the kitchen or don't. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Just have it in the living room. Keep that fucking can out of my bedroom. You know what I mean? <laughs> Dude, I could never. I'm a complete piece like a, of garbage. I'm I couldn't sorry. agree more. If my girlfriend came home and she saw one can of PBR, <laughs> and she drinks, she'll have a glass of wine in bed, whatever, that's fine. That's a very bad <laughs> beverage. But a fucking natty light tall boy, you're just like, hey, get in. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, ah, fuck. Nice honey What's brown. this guy going to do to me, dude? A nice steel reserve and a brown paper koozie. If my girl came home and there was a can of Four loco next to the bed, she'd move out, dude. <laughs> like, oh, fuck. Not mine. And listen, the story gets worse. So she's she steals the good part yeah. of the bed, right? So I have to sleep on the other side, and I've never remembered to put my beers down. So I started watching Game of Thrones or whatever the fuck I'm watching in bed, and I started blacking out. But the other day, it was a bottle this has happened several times I'm ashamed to admit but it was a bottle of Riesling that I got for free at work somebody was like well, the server's real drunk. Man, and they you're gotta... like an opossum of drinking, dude. <laughs> you're like, I don't know. You, like, you look at you. You know what I mean? Like, you look at you, and you're like, this guy drinks High Life, so he'll, like, shoot a whiskey or something. And you're like, I don't know, last night, fucking crazy. Free bottle of Riesling. And you're like, what? You should be wearing my shirt. I should be wearing your jacket. <laughs> no, so, I mean, it, it's gone honey brown all the way to fucking a bottle of Riesling that I got for free. Sure, that's shit. wild. Yeah. Whatever's free, yeah. So, fucking, I'm in bed drinking the Riesling, because I've Already, already po polished off the rosé and the the Beaujolais that I got for free, right? So, damn, pounding down this Riesling and trying to stay awake while we're watching her shitty TV shows, Catfish or something retarded. And I'm Love fucking Catfish. It's a good to, show. Yeah, yeah, but it's the same it's really fucking thing show. happens every time. So it's a fat girl. I don't. Or it's a fat guy. Yeah. And neck beard. Every once in a while, it works out. Yeah, I love whole that. show. Yeah, but, yeah. Uh, <laughs> great. Hell yeah. I woke Rock up. I love. I'm on that show. I love how they try to. I, on that show, I do love. I, we keep cutting you off. I'm dude. sorry. It's I'm okay. Sorry. We're, we're this story sucks. That's but why you keep you, cutting me you off. Know, because you have a better thing no, to say. No, but there's a lot of things. Like, you know how, like, catfished. You, I mean, obviously, we've all seen it. Yeah. And, like, you know, they have an episode where it was like the girl didn't go out with the guy because he was black. You know what I mean? But yeah. they had to cut that. Yeah. She showed up and she was like, "Oh my god!" Yep. You know, it's like because it's always in Alabama or some shit. So it's like For that sure. girl got catfished by like a black dude, and they were like, "Oh, we can't ever show this show. It's got to be that." For there sure, has to be. A Did version. you see the oh, catfish god. outtakes? Would probably be yeah. the greatest thing yeah. to ever see. Just, just pure racism. Just people that are just racism. so yeah, because it's or, in like Alabama and like all those southern states, like. 
if some girl just got catfished by a regular looking black dude, I bet that episode doesn't exist. Yeah. And if it does, call in to Bastard Sermon at 1 800 444 4453. Thanks for that plug, Ram. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> Pep it up. Yeah. Have you seen the episode of Catfish where there's that big fucking gigantic lady that looks like nine people melted together and yeah. she's like, oh my God. This is a blonde mess of a human being. Yeah. I've wanted to talk, oh but God. she's out there and she's catfished like three people. She's been on the show like yeah. three times. Yeah. And they keep catching her oh, like pretending to be another girl that's hotter. But this time now she's on the other side of the fucking of the coin. Yeah, exactly. And the thanks, fish. Thanks she's for the on save. the other side of the fish. I don't know if that's the expression, but uh, I think it is. <laughs> Now she's on the other side of the fish. Yeah. MTV's <laughs> Catfish. Yeah. I remember that's how they brought the episode in. Oh, I so you've seen that. this. Oh, yeah. I love it. I got it on DVD. <laughs> I, I Dedicated Catfish yeah, fan. Yeah. I man. watch it every night before bed. There's something weird about reality TV. Uh, I've been watching the fuck out of Rocket Love, and oh, I have yeah. no idea why I'm so hooked on it. I cannot stop. It is the cringiest shit I do I've ever to, seen. I do have to say, I don't watch Catfish that much, but I do watch. Have you guys ever, have you boys, hey boys, you ever watch Love Island? No, Love what's that? Island. What yeah. is this? It rules. Break it's, this down. Is there a trailer we can pull up or something? Yeah, shit? dude. Pull up the trailer for Love Island. Uh, on season four, a lady died. <laughs> it's wild. It was after the what show, the it wasn't on the show. Nobody like what made her out to death. Or oh, anything. I thought there was gonna be like a trailer where they're gonna be setting up Love Island. There's with all this kinds lady of crazy down. murder shit and all kinds of these uh like love shows. Uh, there was this one about this one of these girls that was on Rocket Love, and it was for like millionaires that yeah, come and be it. with her. And one of the guys uh, that couldn't air it because the guy came off and murdered someone, chopped him up into bits and put him in the suitcase and got caught with it while he was transporting it. Oh yeah, Story I heard of about every that. Every great romance. Dude, wait till you guys see. I'm tr- excited. It's the most British shit that's ever happened. It's like, watch it on ITV2. That's it's what like, this is right now? Yeah, it's so British, dude. ITV2. Let's, let's jump right in. It's green, cold, and there's more rain on the way. Oh, shit. Okay, listeners, there's uh, the two old fuck? people sitting on a bench at the park, yeah. and fucking the you just hear this noise, and the sky lights up, and there's people knocking tables two over. Two smarmy to Brits got up. Two smarmy young Brits got up to smooch in front of some elderly people. Right. Yeah, hell yeah, Splash the Kid. Uh, I'm guessing this is on an island. Oh, hit Broken Kid's jaw with a soccer ball. <laughs> Hot ass black dude uh, under a hose. Yeah, this dude's just spraying off his immaculate body yeah. underneath the hose in the sun, and this girl just drops her ice cream cone right on her kid. Right just on to... her kid's fucking face. <laughs> <laughs> she was like, yo, I'm too horny looking at this other man. <laughs> fucking to splash on parenting. her kid's face. Fuck you. <laughs> Eat it off the ground. Do you see how hot that dude was under that hose? <laughs> I'm not buying you another one. Why is that cone green, dude? What is that pistachio? <laughs> Yeah, hot dude doing pull-ups. Oh, one-arm hot dude doing one-arm pull-ups. We don't really need their obnoxious fucking soundtrack. Oh shit, this. this soundtrack rules. See, <laughs> oh, the guys, old people are in shock. Look how fucking horny this show is, dude. It's the most horny ever. What the fuck is this show even really about? As far as I can tell, they all just got randomly really horny. Yeah, but so everybody gets horny on it. It just looks like a bunch of animals, <laughs> no, like just fighting yeah. each other and fucking each other in the middle of a park. What's what the in real front of all premise? these people? What's, the, what's going on? The premise is they take all these British people from like you know the corners of Britain, right? Like people are like oh from the malls or whatever. <laughs> but they're like they're like the hottest person in that town. Like they're so hot because because of this show. <laughs> they're so hot. Though. Well, no, because of this show, they like they've like people aren't letting their kids watch the show. Like younger people because mass people are getting plastic surgery to be on this show. Oh my god, it's wild. It's like a phenomenon over there. So what it is is they take all, like three, five British girls and five British guys from different parts of England and, and Great Britain, and then they put them 
in the Maldives on like some island in a huge mansion. And dude, you have to sleep in bed with the person you picked on the first day. That sounds great. And then they shoot it live and they play it live on Great British Television and you can vote for it's the live. person you want to get kicked out. But they like, they fuck. I Uncensored. mean, they get into fights. They hack cigs. It's always they're live. women. It's always it's live. It's constantly streaming. So constantly. like when they're on that island, it's 24-7 you can turn on, streaming. You can turn on the station and watch them sleep. That's what some, the fuck? That's, that's a big, Truman Show yeah. type of big stuff. Brother. Yeah, it's wild. I didn't know that stuff it's kind wild. of existed. Yeah, it's wild. How are you getting that? Aren't there like 12 seasons of Big Brother, Oh, really? It's on Hulu. Yeah, Luke's so it, astounded about a concept that's list. been around forever. Great. Don't they I have had no the, idea that mm -hmm. Big Brother show? I thought Big Brother came episodically. It does, but they also all have right. That well, Big then Brother. it's already fucking different. Cody. Well, so does left. So does Love Island because they cut it down into like one hour and thirty minute episodes for Hulu. Oh, like they're not oh, for Hulu, but yeah, you but can like, actually in watch Great it Britain. I, yeah, you can stream it. You okay. can just see what's going on. That's and I still think incredible. They, I think they cut it like you know when they're like the show's about to start. They like drop the stream. But, like, yeah. people were getting dressed, you know, people were fucking in this giant room on these giant beds, and they all got them horrible fucking accents where they're always, like, yelling at you. <laughs> they're like, oh, I loved you, and, like, shit like that. And you're like, all right, whatever, you guys have been here for four days. It's so, uh, it's Hulu awesome. has a lot of uncensored <laughs> uh, reality TV on there, too. Yeah. Like, Rocket Love is completely uncensored, yeah. and it is... All this is so Dude, trashy Gordon and Ramsay, Gordon, Fucking, uh, what's it called? Uh, Kitchen Nightmares. Love it. Love he that show. He just walks in. If you watch Kitchen Nightmares. Love it, that show. It rules because this. He goes into a hillbilly owned restaurant. Yes. Always he garbage. He is the first celebrity. Nay, first foreign person they've ever met. And he immediately is like, you're a fat pig. That's pig. crazy. You fucking pig. <laughs> That's crazy. And they have yes. to just sit and take it. Yeah. How does yeah. he not get his fucking ass beat? Well, I, I mean, saw there's been one... a couple where they were going to fight. There were several of those. I saw one with this big giant Italian dude that looks like he'd be running some. He'd be some fucking underboss in the mob if yeah. he wasn't running this shitty Italian restaurant. Like right, yeah. <laughs> siphoning all of his wife's parents money. I've seen that. That was the first episode. Thing. They almost fight outside of a. Yeah. Like, like the first they throw episode. somebody on a Mercedes Benz and it's like the guy's dad. Within yeah. minutes, yeah. they're screaming each other's yeah. faces he's all up in his fucking face with his shitty fucking new york accent and just yelling spit flying and i'm just like this is gonna go immediately wrong like that fucking that pinky ring's going right in gordon ramsay's fucking shitty british teeth like yeah. there's no way that that's not gordon ramsay is like a uk version of like a gold gloves boxer he's, yeah, he's well, a, he was like a super I, athlete he was yeah. like a football star he's before. like super fucking gnarly so he doesn't to care to fight yeah. yeah he'll get in their fucking faces and he'll be like he'll like he'll stand you, up you and can, like challenge that's them. why yeah, I big like, boy from yeah, his, big boy. You yeah. can tell from his fucking confidence. Because, yeah. like, the, when it's the real, like, ignorant motherfuckers, which I love on that show, when they'll get the bad review and they'll come out right away, like, I'm going to talk to this dude. Like, who yeah. is he to yeah. say my shit is bad? Yeah. And then he'll just, fight him. It's, like, the worst thing I've ever eaten in my entire life. Like, he, he'll say it with such confidence. Yeah, Gordon Ramsay. Like, <laughs> yeah, fucking it's do something. It's always the same garbage. thing. If you, give him a, if you give him vegetables, he's like, it's like the tar pits. It's so oily. Is it right? fresh? And then if yeah, if you <laughs> give him fresh. if you give him any seafood, he's like, "What did this come out of the microwave?" That's the other one. And then if you give him anything wrapped, he unwraps. He's like, "It's like a diaper." Yeah, he's taking like, it apart. Always, yeah, he's got the same fucking like <laughs> model. So true. And he pulls it apart shit, so dude. it looks even more like shit. Like they they serve shitty little plates oh, yeah. already, and then he takes it and he dissects the burrito and pulls it apart, and he's like he's like finger it fucking it and mushing tomatoes. He's like, yeah. "Look mashed. how awful this looks." All I gotta do is accent. He fucking like, mashes yeah. the food. He it's, like wrings it so, out. Like I did like, some... it's so greasy. It's like all right, man. So you know, like on the on the show, they'll be filming like everybody's reactions, and they're always saying like the worst. They're just the worst food I've ever had. I've been here for 45 i've been here for two hours or shit yeah. the people come in they tell them that gordon ramsay's there oh and for they, sure yeah, yeah, yeah and they're like totally like leading them into saying like hey if you got an opinion just say it just say it but it is well, yeah he also gordon ramsay also just like if you watch the ones that came out before the american versions if you watch the ones on he's the bbc so nice. nice he's so nice oh, oh no he's not time. dude compared no, to what he is now i think he yeah. hates think french people dude he Goes off on this French dude. He just walks in his kitchen. He's like, you French pig. And the dude's like, what the fuck? 
fuck? <laughs> and Gordon Ramsay's like, French twat. Like, he just calls him the worst shit the whole episode. And there's not, like, the end where he gives him a hug. I think he's like, he needs to be fired. Like, you're like, dude, leave him alone. I think Gordon Ramsay hates French people. Every time I see him interact with one, he's real mean. I take it, the show hate- at the, on the BBC, like, when it's done over there, it, it takes such a more serious tone than it does mm-hmm. when it comes to the U.S. Yeah, he's version. Like, he's 30,000 qu- quid in debt. Like, some weird number you don't yeah. know. Yeah. And you're These like, people man. are like a million dollars yeah. in debt and over here. He's 37 pounds in debt. And you're like, oh, no, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Help <Really>? him. Help <laughs> him. <laughs> Meanwhile, you're sitting there with four maxed out credit cards and a yeah. mortgage. God, I wish I had a, could ever get a credit card, dude. My credit is bad. <laughs> do you only make good decisions with your finances? I sure as shit do not. I have a lot of sunglasses. Hey, oh, yeah, I got a cat. <laughs> so you mean being a comedian isn't the road to good credit? That's no. to me strange. Fuck I thought, no, who dude. knew? Podcasts and comedy it's led also, to fiscal responsibility eventually. It'll make you really good at sitting in a fucking car. That's for sure. Yeah, dude, I can do five hours on my nuts. Like, <laughs> but poof. How did you get into the podcast game, man? What was your fucking? Because I thought all comics had podcasts. So I was like, oh, I'll just get one. Do you I'll feel like it was a necessity? Quick. Like you have to do rumble lips? Like there's no way around yeah. it? But yeah. do you do you, you thoroughly enjoy it now though, right? Yeah, doing I like it. I like doing rumble lips. I'm I'm I haven't been doing it. I I have I've missed two weeks. One week the RSS host uh, my feed was like fucked up and they wouldn't let me post. Oh wow. But like uh but like um now I'm just like I'm doing another I'm doing a diff- another podcast with one of my buddies. Another comic in Cincinnati. It's going to be a different setup and everything? Yeah, it's going to be called the Cuddle Brothers. It's me and Carl Space. And we're just going to talk, uh, teach you how to cuddle. and be. That's what I'm talking about. It's, it's all lies. It's all... We're going to give you, like, sleep facts. And they're all not all lies. real. Yeah, they're That's all what I'm looking for. Not real, yeah. Everybody look out for that shit. It's a shit. podcast to nap, too, except we're going to make it so loud. We're going to do our own version of the white noise machines and shit. <laughs> Sounds I just, like some uh, Tim and Eric kind of shit. Yeah, I just want to. I just want to do. Uh, I just want to be able to do live shows. Yeah, because like w- with Rumble Lips, it's just me by myself. So but it's you want to like, do live podcast? Yeah, if I'm going to do an hour on stage by myself, I'm going to do stand up. I'm yeah. not going to do a fucking. I saw a bird today that pooped on a car. Like I'm not going to yeah. do that. Like that's what Rumble. <laughs> it's just me like, man, uh, I hate old people's pants for 15 minutes and then I go on to the next thing. Do you ever get bits out of your podcast, though? Like yeah. something that you could like. Yeah, I get bits out of it all the time. I feel like that's the. Because I walk around and do it. it that's it. Then that's another huge benefit. Yeah. I just go outside and I just do a podcast and go, you know, come home, put it on, the, put it up on iTunes or whatever. It'd be awesome if there was enough uh, podcasts in Cincinnati to actually do kind of a, a live podcast event of just podcasts. There is now. Is there really? Yeah, yeah we were. That's what we were invited to just a couple <coughs> weeks ago. Remember when we well, that couldn't was like do a metal because show. you were moving? It was a metal yeah, show. Dude. It was. A, I was talking about just remember podcasts. When we I thought there was move. other podcasts on that lineup. I, I mean, don't remember. It was you were moving, dude. Yeah, because I'm moving. Well, I'm, I wasn't blaming you. I was just like pointing out. He was that you were wrong. You're point, just pointing fingers. Blaming at me. you, dude. Now I am. Oh, uh, now no he's right. literally pointing yeah. the finger at you. <laughs> yeah, dude, but, you shouldn't move. Poor move on your part. No. It's all your fault. Poor now we move, can't do a live moving. podcast. Yeah, now, now you'll never <laughs> get the opportunity to <laughs> do a live fucked. podcast. <laughs> we got you can literally just throw yourself at any bar we're you fucked, want to. Guys, yeah, forever. Forever. You're like, hey, I'm going to charge $2 and then they'll <laughs> do whatever. Can we use your side room to talk in for two hours? And they'd be like, mm-hmm. <laughs> it's fun. You can, can we do bring a- our microphones that don't take up any space? Yep, you sure yeah. can. I yeah. don't give a fuck. Don't give I'm a drunk. Shit, dude. This bar is failing. Yeah. So how long have you been a regular at Go Bananas? Uh, I've been doing stand-up comedy for a little over five years. Yeah. So uh, four and a half years. Yeah. Okay. Like, I mean, I you start out at the low, you know, at such a low, doing the open, doing open, the open mics mic. all over the place. Yeah. Hanging out, you know, just hanging out and, your and foot watching in the door the shows. Local scene. Yeah. And, and all that. And then like, you know, now, now, yeah, I'm, I'm a, definitely a regular at Cobananas. What would you say? Like, I, I'm always so curious, like the comics first night performing. What was that like? At the club? Yeah. What was your first night performing well, like? You had to sign up and bring five people. And I was new. I was like six months in. And the club was like a big deal to me. I know dudes that have like started at the club, but the club was like a huge deal to me. Like even just the pro am night, the open mm-hmm. mic night. And I was like, I don't know, man, I'll wait. I'll wait a little while. And then the dude that booked at the time, 
walked up to me and he was like, uh, you want to go up tonight? And I was like, yeah, because I know you're not supposed to turn down stage time ever, you mm-hmm. know? And I was like, yeah, I'd love to. And he was like, okay. Uh, I was like, I don't have five people. He was like, that doesn't matter. I'm asking you to go up to five. And I went up on, I, I have the video the first time I went up. Um, oh, really? Yeah. Did you put it on YouTube or did you nah, just have it for yourself? No, I just have it for myself. Do you, ever just watch, do you watch it in cringe or did it, went, did it go super good? It's not that bad. It's really not. Like, I know that I, I had, like, zero uh, real confidence. It's all fake confidence. It's like me looking de- directly at the crowd, but I don't believe the shit I'm saying. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But it's like now now I watch it. I'm like, God damn. <laughs> Woo, that's open mic right there, baby. You know what I mean? I'm like, hell yeah, there he is. I'm curious about, I know it's probably a boring question, but I'm always curious about it because it seems like everybody's road to comedy is super different. Like, we've had a couple comics on yeah. and talk about it and shit Who? like that. We've had uh, Jay James Emman, uh, Jay Armstrong on. Okay. Uh, that might be it. It might have just be you three. You guys are the only three comics. But uh, oh, real stand up comics that like do yeah. it as a yeah. profession. I just so Jay Armstrong was I like, did I did show. heroin for 15 years and went to jail a few times. And then I went to AA and then that turned into comedy somehow. And I was like, that's an interesting end. James yeah. Emman's like, I'm living on a bus and fucking like living in people's closets and shit. And somebody told me I was funny and got up on a stage. How did you, what was your like I was, move? I was living. Uh, I was living in a heroin bus in a closet, and I, and I <laughs> was, and I was, no, that's like, what if I tried to combine, to combine both all of stories? It, yeah. And then they drove Go me to jail on. for what's, six years. What's sadder? Uh, was it a closet in a bus doing heroin? No, I was just, I was like a bartender at a bar, and uh, I saw some dude, he was like writing in his notebook. I've always liked stand-up a lot, like, when I, growing up, I like, watch stand up all the time it'd be weird if you didn't like stand up a lot and yeah then like i'm gonna do comedy plus the only thing i've ever cared about is being fun like literally it's the only emotion i ever want to evoke in anyone is being funny yeah like you're the funny guy yeah i want to be i want to always be having fun yeah you know what i mean and i and and uh i i used to watch comedy but some guy was like writing in his notebook and he just would always order the same thing and he would leave and one day it was just like me and him in the bar and he was like, you should do stand-up comedy. Because, like, he'd been at the bar. And he was, like, a comic. He was writing. He didn't even live here anymore. And I was like, yeah, maybe. And then I went up. I found out where the open mic was. I went up and I did, like, I did like five, a five-minute long run-on story about actually, like, dudes that barbecued out in front of my house uh, for, like, nine months. I think they grilled the same piece of meat. Like, some, t- it was, like, not even, didn't even really have an end. And then I was, and then I, when I left, I was like, ah, maybe I'm just like a funny bartender. You know what I mean? So then I didn't do it again for like a year and a half. Oh. And then I, and then uh, I ended up, I ended up, John Hayes. Do you, know, you guys know John Not Hayes? Not familiar with him. Uh, he's got a fucking his band is called Flesh Mother, and they fucking oh, rule. I know them. Yeah. I, okay. My girlfriend likes Flesh Mother and okay, showed me yeah, them yeah. recently. They're fucking yeah. awesome. John rules, and he does stand up too. Oh, really? And he, uh, he was, he was throwing a showcase show and just put me on it. Because he, he always told me, he's like, man, why'd you stop doing comedy? You should do stand-up again. And so Hayes put me on my first, like, showcase show, and I haven't stopped since then. Oh, and that was, like, yeah. almost six years ago, yeah. Because I just thought I was funny just in conversation, dicking around. Do you ever do, like, road shit? Do you ever get out, or yeah. is it all? I just got I just did a uh, show with Jay Armstrong, like, three days ago in, oh, Mo- really? in Monticello, Indiana. What What's Monticello, Indiana? Is it as Whoa. shitty as I can imagine that it is? Uh, I mean, it's not. It's just, like... It's kind of empty. Like any other place? Yeah, it's yeah. just like, yeah, it's it's like, okay, it's like if a Logan Steakhouse was a town. <laughs> does that make sense? 100% yeah. it does. Okay. Yeah. It's like, it's like, it's like, like if, everything's covered in mud. Yeah. That's how I felt it's when like I was if there. There's uh, sawdust on the ground what's everywhere. That a tech, if, a, if, a, if a tumbleweed, is that what it's called? Yeah. Yeah, was a was a town. That's what it is. <laughs> it's like yeah, it's a like point. a shitty. It's like everything's like I like trucks because I live in the country. And it's like, well, <sighs> dude, you can like, you can like a, a Toyota Prius. You don't have to be that guy. You know what I mean? Yeah. But like, it's all the and that's who I was like doing my new Lorena Bobbitt joke for on fucking Tuesday. <laughs> Your new <laughs> Lorena Bobbitt joke yeah. is really staying topical. I like mm-hmm. that. I like that. Dude, I am. They came out with a docu series about. Oh yeah, I heard about that yeah. about her. So fucking... I am being topical. You're right, jerk I'm being boy. A dick. I'm sorry. Yeah, got him with the Big jerk boy. boy. Yeah. yeah, Big boy. Got him with the jerk boy. Did you hear me? 
<laughs> yeah, dude. Man, you're Fuck a fucking yeah, idiot, dude. Cody. Got his ass. Bullied his ass. <laughs> no, it's yeah, the Lorena Bobbitt face. shit is crazy. Like, the joke, my, the whole joke of it is, it's not about her cutting the dude's dick off. Because, like, fuck that. Who cares? It's about when she uh, Kareem abdul jabbar it out of her van window into a overgrown Pizza Hut parking lot. Is that is that the real story? I thought yeah. she was like a... I have no idea what you're talking about. No. What? Oh, Lorena Bobbitt cut her Bobbitt husband's, cut dick, her husband's dick off. Because he, like, he like tortured her. He, like, sexually assaulted her and emotionally assaulted her and regular assaulted her, like, their whole marriage. And so one night, he was, like, drunk trying to, like, fool around and get on her. And she just took a kitchen knife and cut his dick off because he was drunk like cut it off and yo they show the dick it is so small it's crazy <laughs> it's the smallest dick i've ever seen and she hacked it at the base and then she kareem abdul jabbar it sky hooked it out of her van window next to a pizza hut and some tall grass <laughs> and they're interviewing yes. the cop on there the cop that found what? it the cop that found it they're interviewing him and he's like he stepped on it immediately. He's like, I stepped on it. Like, immediately just <laughs> to camera. He's like, I stepped right on it. I stepped directly onto it. Like, I, you know what I mean? He was he's looking like, forward to he's that like, interview. He's like, I don't know why it's so dirty. <laughs> I found it, though. So he's like, <laughs> he like stomped the, stomped the dick. And then the producer off camera is looking at him. And she goes, so then you picked it up, obviously, right? And then the cop just goes, not in touch it. I ain't like that. <laughs> I was like, my man thought picking up a severed human penis would turn him gay. <laughs> you know what gay, I mean? Dude. Like he would pick it up and be like, oh my God, what's happening to me? You know what I mean? In no fucking way. He's like, nah, don't give me an evidence bag. I'll keep it in my mouth till we get to the station. There's no way. I can't wait to see this There's shit. no way that that dude would, I mean, dude, it was wild. He just thought he would be gay if he touched and that doesn't that makes you like a fucking Game of Thrones character or some shit. If picking up a cut off dick turns you into anything, that's not. That's got to be comedy to just witness, like as it's happening, dude, as it's the wild. person interviewing or oh. or like filming the camera, like his reaction. So you dude, picked it up, right? And the it's... other, yeah, dude. The no. other, the other <laughs> cop on there, the other cop on the thing. He's like, so uh, we had one of the boys go over to the Seven Eleven to we, you know, we needed to put it in something. And uh, like put the dick in something. Got a big gulp. No, dude. He was like, and you know what? We got some ice and we put it in a hot dog bag. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, my God. And the cop was like psyched on it. Like, it's a funny. It's actually pretty funny that they did that. It's kind of funny that they went and got a hot dog bag to put a severed dick in. (laughs) But it took their time to pick that. Crazy how psyched the cop is that he got to say it on camera. He's like, and uh, we put it in a. A hot dog bag. <laughs> and the, the producer just like, all right. And that uh, dude thought that was a fucking dude, slam he, dunk. You know he went home the night yep. they found the dick. And he's like, honey, we put it in a hot dog bag. <laughs> it's funny. Just do, like, you, do you get it? Do you get it right? A man's penis in a bag for hot dogs. Okay, I'm going to bed. <laughs> <laughs> The dude gets to keep his dick too, doesn't he? Mm-hmm. Isn't that the end of the story? Gets and then he on? becomes a porn star. Yeah, he got a porn star. That he, he became yeah. a... Hold this on. isn't science fiction. This is 100% yeah, real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, Why, the he plot beats thickens. The, he beats the shit out of his wife till she cuts his dick off. She lobs it into a parking lot. Fucking hot dog bag joke from a police officer. Yeah. Sews it back on. Porn career. Yeah. Then he got on Howard Stern. Well, he had to go to court and shit. And the court shit is crazy, uh, crazy for it, too. Did she get away star? with this shit? How does this play out? She, she, they wanted to give her like life in jail. Oh, fuck that. And she what? was like, she was like, this dude abused me. And then they went through all of the shit that like how many times the cops had been to their house for domestic violence. And so they like, I mean, they only gave her like seven years and like either a, way, that's still, but like, fucked. but like they tried to nail him with like a bunch of like domestic violence shit. Then like he should have went down, and his life is destroyed. She's chilling. She's like remarried. I mean, She's like, ah, I'm not gonna do dick well, that's, off. That's fucking good. That yeah. She got that. But the the fact She's that like, she like, don't got put your hands t- on me, and I won't fucking cut your dick off. The time. She, the, the fact <laughs> seems that, like a fair trade. But now that now that we're talking about this, is making me think of like all those phony ass articles I would see on Facebook. Like this is a story that I I'm sure I read and thought immediately it was bullshit. Like this story is like, so much woman less believable. Cuts man's dick off, and it's like, oh, okay, yeah, sure okay. she did. You all and, right. Like, Twenty other people in Florida. All right. Uh, 
onion and then you just keep scrolling on but no this is a real documented yeah. thing yeah that's what, why I, I, shit like that though well, how, hold, is, hold on I, what i want to find out is the timeline of this thing so how long ago did this dick incident happen where he became a porn star afterwards like the night it was in like the 90s early 90s oh so okay this i was a reason. i was a little kid I, I thought this was. Like, that's why this I was fucking year. around when he said it. When I was like, "Oh, keeping it topical," because it happened like twenty years ago. Or yeah, nineteen eighty nine. Yeah, it's. Oh no, that's when they got married. Is, Is that, that him? Ninety three. That's the dude who got his dick chopped off. Yeah, with those sunglasses. They were an yeah. American couple. And then aftermath, legacy and in popular culture. Where the fuck, Lorena? John. Oh yeah, here we go. In 99, Bobbitt received... Oh, he. Oh, wait. First, this is, this is fucking killer. We've got to go here first. On August 10th, 1998, he appeared on the World Wrestling Federation's Monday Night Raw television program, where he was featured with Val Venus. Not long after, he moved to Las Vegas, Nevada, where he worked as a bartender, limo driver, mover, pizza delivery guy. That's a dude that smokes meth and can't stay at a job for very long. Yeah. He also had a stint serving at a... What the fuck? At a wedding chapel as a minister of a universal life church there. In 1999... What? What the fuck kind of string of events is this man's life? Dick gets cut off. Fucking... <laughs> what? Yeah. yeah, what is this Dude, guy's life? WWF in, followed by in fucking... Ni- in 1994... Or in, in 96, he appeared in an adult film called Frankenpenis. Have you watched it? Oh, okay, no. so this is early. Don't lie. No, I haven't. Can we watch it right now? Yeah, I'm sure. Is it for... I mean, if you want to take the time out of editing just, the video. Just Google it. Frankenpenis... John Bobbitt? It's on IMDb. Video. DB. Videos. Come on, where, what do we Why got? Why are you going to shopping? Yeah, he's about to buy it. <laughs> are you trying to buy it? <laughs> he just clicked two keystrokes. He's like, it's already coming to his house. Like, <laughs> oh, I don't know what I did. This is Rachel's computer. I was hoping to luck out. Get it on her funny. credit card bill at the end of the month and shit. I don't know. How are we going to find this? Click videos. Just yeah, click. I don't know that it's just going to be on the Google search right away. Just click images. Go to images. Pornhub, bro. Oh, there's his little wiener. The picture of his little wiener. <laughs> <laughs> it's mega tiny, dude. That is oh a little itty bitty wiener. But how much yeah. does your wiener shrink after it gets cut off? I mean, I don't know. With no blood, no fluid in it at all. That's a little wiener, though, man. But but, but it, if it's that... not just entirely uh, fr- getting its shape and length from blood. Like there's muscle and tissue there to keep it that length. They said she cut his wiener off so clean that like he uh, like he didn't. He just you put it back on. Like, they for real just, like, basically, it. like, twisted it back on. I don't know how they I'm did it. Wait, after the, after the cops stepped on it and they put it in an old, a fucking hot dog bag. You know what they called the surgeon that nobody, I mean, it's a really easy joke, but he was a microsurgeon. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. But, um, you, you're saying his dick small, though, but if that's an actual two-scale photo of the man's penis, that then thing's like it a might giant. be the largest dick of <laughs> well, all yeah, time. That's the like, largest dick head you've ever monster seen. what she used to cut it off, a fucking machete? <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's a fucking chainsaw. That's a God. Pringles can. For sure. But like look at like you have to give your hats off to this guy right here. For not he has jacking to, off. He has oh. to, well he has to stand in court with a straight ass face and hold this picture of this micro penis as evidence and be and be serious. I know. He's like, Well here it is. It looks over for a second. Dun 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 <laughs> like trying to Exhibit hold it together. A. Yeah. Well All right, well yeah, are we gonna that's something Here's the, they've got the, the fucking, the thing. And he looks so sad on this porn cover. Leisure time communication. Franken penis. So was that his full porn name or is that just like just a video series he was a part of? I think that's what they called him. How do we watch this? Uh, is there a way to find it? I want to see the stitch marks. I, wonder I want to see how small you his wiener is. Look up John Bobbitt penis. Just look up John Bobbitt penis. We just saw his penis. Just, yeah, it'll, it'll show us that again. What? Just go to Pornhub if you want to look for porn. All right, that's fair. I guess we're not going to get to see the porn, unfortunately. But, yeah, that's fine. I didn't want to watch porn with you dudes either. Well, it makes me sad that our first experience together isn't watching John Bobbitt's porn together. Yeah, I mean, I would have watched it for like uh, for like uh, research purposes, but that's what I'm saying. Yeah. This will make the bit funnier is if you watch it on a podcast full of a bunch of dudes that you just met. Yeah. yeah. Uh, nothing. They just had me we over watched, in Camp right. Washington uh, on a scary back street right before dark <laughs> to watch John Bobbitt porn with them. <laughs> Frank and but Venus, it was my it? fault that I brought him up in the first place. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How did I not know that they were going to turn porn on? Yeah. <laughs> well, this wouldn't be the worst thing we've seen on this show. So, what's what's well, the worst thing you've seen on this show? Oh, we've watched stump fuck porn. Yeah, that, that might be one of the worst. Some dude There's... jacking off to completion in front of his grandma. Yeah, uh, I don't want to watch any of those. There's, some, uh, <laughs> some, there's a joke that Pat would always make about sticking a stick of butter up your ass and 
we had uh, somebody actually find porn and send it to us. The uh, lady sticking, or the, the guy it. sticks it into her asshole and then fucks her asshole, pulls it out. The butter comes out with melted pieces, but it's still a pretty whole butter it piece. It comes out? Yeah. 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 Well, it's right out like a turd. And then she shoves it into her vagina and begins pounding that with the butter. Can I say something? It, like, yeah. I know it's like, I know people are, I'm not here to kink shame, but. Uh, you should. There's that's got a certain things. That's got a do crazy for your for your health yeah yeah i mean putting butter it's got to stick it's got to absorb somewhere so they're just like the she goes to the doctor well, so she weighs true. like 110 pounds but the doctor's like hey you have fatty liver <laughs> disease <laughs> she's like i don't know how <laughs> it's all in your ass <laughs> i put a stick of butter up my ass two times a week on a webcam for three years Is it, could that be it <laughs> like, you have diabetes you're like you have you have heart disease you, you have don't everything. smoke you 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 eat fairly well but your your fat in your blood is off the charts here and it's all originating from your asshole yeah. on that note what's the least amount of money you would take to shove a whole stick of butter up your ass 44 dollars why really? such a, is that your credit card payment this month like what's <laughs> such a specific a amount card. oh yeah you already uh, touched on this no i don't know i don't know i don't want to stick a stick of butter up my ass no if there's does. a number though if you yeah, had to like, pick a number like blank it, check buddy and don't go fucking weird like a million dollars because for sure do- realistically how much money could someone the lowest amount in? the lowest like if amount. i spent if i gave you five grand right now would you shove a whole yeah. stick of, you would five grand yeah what about like two five grand would change my life what about two grand same uh, here low, five grand would also no you're five. not gonna lowball me dude i'm sticking at five dude five you right. led with five pat yeah. you, le- you lead right, with so five hundred dollars yeah. and you work your yeah, way you up from there five grand if that's the max i yeah. should have i should have uh five grand for sure 100 percent. pat did ask you like you had a pocket full of cash and a stick of butter ready for dude, you if he threw a stack down i'd be like all right turn the webcam off <laughs> turn it off <laughs> <laughs> That money's coming with me one way or the other. <laughs> I'll slide out of the seat of my Hyundai Sonata for five thousand dollars any night. <laughs> so, so just you come been... home have a fucking wet butt. <laughs> Your butt would be so slick. You'd be like, number one, I'm sleeping on the couch. Number two, my farts are fucking wild. They all my, smell like popcorn. Yeah, my my farts my farts are globules. They're like I don't know what's happening to me. I'm calling off work tomorrow. I need to sit by that bidet and blast my bean until I, it's over. I a little kid like, blowing spit bubbles, hey, just butter bubbles. Don't worry, the mortgage is paid for two months, but don't ask me how. <laughs> don't ask me how. I don't want to know the answer yeah. at all. Don't ask me how. But I'm we're good. So We're you, good for two months, and don't make a grilled cheese near me, or I might. <laughs> I think that the the ramifications of buttering up my butt would be so positive for the type of shits that I'm taking. Because sometimes it feels like it my asshole hurt. is a cheese grater with broken uh, glass coming out of it. It's yeah. bad, uh, dude. It wouldn't. But that's the thing about butter up the ass. Like if you really actually think about it, it wouldn't hurt. No. Well, the first like part of it would. What do you mean? It's like, like a big the, old loop stick, dude. <laughs> You're it just depends. Putting, if you mash have, it in there, you could probably get in there pretty quick. Now look, I'm not yeah, talking mash mash it into your ass. <laughs> oh man, that sounds awful. Every last dollop. Get it. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> get the fingers now. Uh, so That's uh, hilarious. Yeah, you, forty-four bucks. You've been doing comedy for five years and you just said you just came back from doing a show with Armstrong. Mm-hmm. Uh, where else have you been? Like uh, any places you actually Upcoming liked? Dates. I mean, you talked about that city. That oh, was shit. I, liked, any- I did a weekend at the Oklahoma City Looney Bin and it was great. Oh, hell yeah, I like da- I like Dayton. I know it's only uh, 50 minutes away. I like Dayton. I like, I like, I'm doing an hour in Cleveland at the end of the month. Yeah. Yeah, at some place up in Cleveland. I like Cleveland. You recording that a, a whole hour? I'll record it on my phone. I just wanted to. I, yeah, I'm doing an hour. In, That's in, awesome. In Dayton, at Wy- I'm headlining Wiley's Comedy Club the second week of August. When did like, you get to oh, a you point? Week Friday and Saturday. That's this Friday and Saturday. No, August the second week of August. I think okay, it's cool. eighth or cool. ninth through eleventh. Nine eleven. <laughs> Sick. Is that the most recent upcoming shows that they can check you out at? Or are you always no, on stage no, I'm at Go always, Bananas? I'm always. I, well, Bananas, the funniest person in Cincinnati contest is happening right now until the end of the uh, end of uh, August. So, no. But, I I mean, there's showcase shows in town. Every Thursday I have an open mic in Clifton at Corinthian. It's called uh, La Jokes and Nostra. 
Be Do sure a lot to of check that out, out folks. Yeah, some people come out. Yeah, more comics than that. Sounds like fun, yeah. actually. It is. It, it's a good. It's a good open mic. I've it's only fun. been to a couple of comedy shows. Uh, I saw like Joe Rogan recently. That was super cool. Oh, Tony yeah. Hitchcliffe. But I mean, there's so much fun. I want to go to more. So that sounds like a good time. Yeah, They're always a good time. Yeah. Yeah. It's too drunk, too loud. Is my buddy Andrew Rudick's. Uh, it's at the Drinkery the last Tuesday of every place, month. Yeah. Uh, my friend Carl Space has Motor Mouth. It's at Motor Pub on Main yeah. Street um, in the basement. It's uh, the last Monday, second Monday, second Tuesday, second Tuesday of every month. Is it tonight? This, one's happening. This podcast <laughs> comes out on Sunday of this week. Okay, one's, so. ha- one's happening May 14th. It's the six-year uh, motor show. And there's only like 35 seats, 50 seats down there. So when it's full, it's, aw- it's fucking awesome because it's in like a low ceiling room like this low, you know. It's in a little shock. Close style. and intimate. Yeah, it rules. I've it's, been laughing my balls off this whole time, and I'm sure all of our listeners are. So if you motherfuckers have laughed even one time at any of these jokes, go out and see Rand. He's a funny motherfucker. Yeah, he really is. And he's got rumble lips. Check that shit out. And Cuddle He'll Brothers. He'll do a lot for $44. Cuddle, Cuddle Brothers. Cuddle Brothers. brothers. <laughs> Not Cuddle Brother, all right? That's yeah, getting a little incestuous. Cuddle incestuous. Brothers. No, it's Cuddle Brothers, dude. <laughs> brothers. You gotta say it just like mm-hmm. that. Emphasis. The way that I imagine the owners of that shitty bar say it. Yeah. Brothers. Yeah. It's Paul Kogan owns it. All right, let's okay. do a quick break. Yeah, yeah let's do, do a break, and we'll be right back. Cool. <laughs> All right, we're back. All right, we've got a quick ad read from our sponsor. That's Neil to No One, or Anthony Tank Mansfield. He's got these dope-ass samurai sifter glasses, these little 16-ounce goblets that Pat's going to hold up to the camera. And that's a white claw that... <laughs> oh, sorry. I don't know that he makes those those White Claw fucking tin cans, but it'd be cool if he did. That's a jewel. But he's got these dope-ass designs on them, Neil to No One printed on it, of samurai and some samurai swords on it. Great to drink beer out of. He's got fucking stickers, enamel pens, t-shirts, everything at his website, K-N-E-E-L-T-O-N-O-O-N-E.com. Neil to No One, K-T-N-O. Check his shit out. Check his episodes out. He was on last week. All right, let's jump right into it. Endgame. We were all talking about Endgame right before the fucking mics came on. And so, Game of so spoiler warning. Yeah, spoiler warning from this point on. Uh, so I had accidentally, uh, I guess. Accidentally? Uh, accidentally? According, according to Jacob, I never should have done it. No one knows it who Jacob is. should have been an accident. Uh, it's Cody's brother. So I made a post about something that happened in Endgame. Uh, uh, the consequences of Hulk using the glove. And he did not take it too kindly. Now, a little setup for my brother. He had a car accident and caused a brain injury, so it makes him... Like, he was already kind of an angry person. So but he's the like, Hulk? Not quite, <laughs> not quite the Hulk. If the Hulk couldn't smell things now because of a brain injury, then yeah, he's the Hulk. And if the Hulk was a machinist, it works 70 hours a week. But uh, anyways, it also it makes him fly off the handle pretty quickly sometimes, yeah. and he'll stay angry about some dumb shit a little... So uh, he saw this spoiler... And right before the fucking podcast starts, right as I'm getting out of the car, I feel my pocket buzz like three times, and I'm like, what's all this? And I go to look at my phone, and it's a message from Luke, and it's a message from my brother simultaneously. And the one from my brother says, tell Luke to eat a dick next time you see it. <laughs> someone at work already told me about someone who dies in Endgame, and now I guess I get, now I guess I know the Hulk gets permanently injured, but must live because he wants to share... A stupid fucking article on Facebook. Swear, dude, Marvel fans are fucking awful. Every single <laughs> Avengers has been ruined somehow for me. Don't even want to see it now. Weird thing to get that upset about, but he is for sure that upset about it right well, now. Well, if you think uh, yeah, about it, people have been waiting 11 years uh, yeah, for this movie I'm, to come out. I'm not sorry about it in the, in the slightest bit. <laughs> but if bit. you were in his also, shoes, it, no. you, just a movie. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. It's, I mean, for a couple of things. Somebody told me... A Star Wars thing, and I wasn't like, great. Now I hate Star Wars. I <laughs> still went and saw it, and was like, it was great. great. Yeah, it was cool. I, 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 I'm not sorry for a couple of reasons. I knew about because the snap I don't... before I saw the before I saw Infinity War. Yeah, everybody the next day had dusty memes. People were changing yeah. their profile pictures. I was like, okay, well, the snap works. That makes me want to go see it more because that's fucking crazy. Yeah, this is going to have a, a crazy twist. Yeah. It's tragic. Yeah, I want to see that happen. But I'm not sorry for the slightest bit because that's not who I am. I'm not going to say sorry for that. Um, <laughs> and it's uh, the Russos had some arbitrary-ass rule where you couldn't speak about uh, spoilers for like two weeks. The, that, that ban is now lifted, so I can talk about it as much as I want. 
and uh, fuck them. You know, <laughs> <laughs> it's I, it's my Facebook. I can do what I want. I'm not oh, going to yeah. censor myself for you. Yeah, uh, I wanted down. to talk about yeah, it with my friends. I'm sorry you saw it. Oh well, go see the movie. It's been two weeks. That's a good. If you wanted to see it that bad, you would have seen it by now. Yeah, I like your back. point of view. Good point. Good but point. here's where Jacob's coming from. If I could speak for him, and I can because he isn't here. <laughs> fuck the fucking said. the man is out there working 70 hours a week. He loves loves these fucking characters. Wants to yeah, go yeah. see it, but working 70 hours a week, there isn't a lot of time to go. See the new uh, then Avengers you schedule movie. a time off to go see it when it's coming in advance. You don't schedule time off of your fucking machinist job to go see fucking Endgame. Like, what do you want to do? All right, well, you're fired now. Yeah. Go see Endgame. Have fun with the rest of your fucking pension and shit. But th- th- so he he's trying he to make time to prison? see it. He wants to go and fucking see this movie. And then he gets online and just immediately, like, he goes to work. Somebody fucking ruins it for him. And then he gets online, this shit that he's been waiting so long for. Oh, well. And immediately sees this. <laughs> and I know it's fucking ridiculous, but I'm I also know. About it. That he's that he's fucking super heated. So I was like, I'm doing the podcast today with him. And we'll talk about it on the episode. I was like, any more shit you want to talk? It's good material. I know you're genuinely upset, but this will make it funnier. I'm expecting a one fuck you, Luke. Yeah. This man sends me a goddamn tirade, just Whoa. a wall of text messages, seven fucking messages deep. Good oh, I'm God. sure you will. I messaged him about it. I'm literally not going to see it this weekend now because I know the fate. Oh, he uses the word fate, non-ironically. Thanks, Jacob, for making me look like a fool for being related to you. Of uh, the only two Avengers left I care about. Like, fuck, man, everyone ruined what happened to my favorite Spider-Man character in Infinity War. And now this shit... Now, uh, he, he the message is discombobulated. This shit, Marvel fans are absolutely awful. If he's any bit interested in Spider-Man, far from home, I'm watching it on release and writing a full review of everything that happens, so I ruin it for everyone else like they've ruined every Avengers for me. And then he keeps going. Like, that's not enough. He's still got to take some jabs. That's like, he's comedy. probably one of the biggest Marvel fans on my friend list, so he should have known how important it was to not share anything about it. But no! Scrolling along on Facebook, and now I, I know the Hulk gets a permanent injury, which also tells me he makes it through the whole movie. Like, fuck out of everyone on my whole friends list. He's the only one to have <laughs> shared something about the movie. He's so fucking upset. Like, so, just seething about it at work right now. Fucking Jacob, up. as a personal message from me to you. I don't give a shit, and I'm not sorry, <laughs> and you should have seen it by now. Damn. Hell yeah, Jacob. Relax, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Hey, get some sleep. <laughs> Sounds like you work a lot. You know? Take a, take a rest. Go to the movies by yourself. Forget about them. Yeah, I that would be my point of view, but I just I love yeah, so dude. much that he got so fucking upset and genuinely upset about this. That Pissed. That sent me fucking 12 messages about fuck Luke and here's why Luke should have known better dude Luke, you fucked up man I don't care <laughs> <laughs> oh well damn alright well let's Luke I, is fucking so, heartless so what yeah, was your savage. opinion on Endgame I liked it yeah. I thought it was, it was awesome. awesome what was your uh, like at least the top three highlights of that film uh, <laughs> I, dude the beginning was cool were they where, ax him? Yeah. That was bad. I was like, whoa, dude, you're just going to cut his head off five minutes into the movie? Yeah. Eight minutes in? That was fucking cool. I was like, what are they going to do for the rest of this three-hour movie? <laughs> dude, what the fuck? I, Captain America doing the Thor hammer, uh, having Thor's hammer was cool. That, that was, was bad. Awesome. Yeah. He also, like, didn't he summon lightning at one point, too? Yeah, twice. That's amazing. I've never seen Captain America or Captain Marvel, mm-hmm. and, dude, she was Fucking badass. Yeah, yeah. I like she's the super la- powerful. I like the lady shot where it's like you know it's Captain Marvel and Spider Man's like I don't know if I can help you with all those people or whatever. And yeah, how are you gonna make it through there? All the ladies come out and they're like, "We got her back." I was like, "Yeah!" I was <laughs> in the movie like, "Hell yeah, get them, girls!" I was psyched. Captain Marvel rules, dude. I gotta see that movie. Was there any it's fucking outburst moments like where you had to stand up and like actually make noises and the, catch yourself? The, oh, when Black Panther came out of the ring. Yeah. The first time I was like, that rules. That fucking ruled. Because he was like the first to come back with everybody. And I was like, yeah, hell yeah. And yeah, the lady part where then Captain Marvel's like shooting everything. 
and she's all cool flying through shit. Yeah, that ruled. I love this description as a person that hasn't seen the movie yet. Just, just pew pew noises bro. and she's yeah, flying dude. through shit like that. Captain Marvel fucking. Oh, yeah, you haven't seen <laughs> I haven't it. seen any part of it. I'm trying to like relate to you. You haven't even fucking watched a second of it. I, <laughs> I, I cheered loud as shit when he finally got to say the Avengers Assemble line. Yeah, that was oh, perfect. Because yeah. oh, yeah. it's been it three great. films and like every time it's been teased. Like it'll say Avengers and it cuts off. Yeah, you know. I thought one of the uh, funniest parts of the film, uh, maybe you guys don't remember it, but it was like where the Hulk was like had to take the stairs to go down the building and stuff yeah. and how pissed off he would get oh yeah that was so yeah. fucking funny <laughs> to me i felt like that was a bunch of unnecessary <laughs> comedy was. relief that like could have been replaced with material it, it was you know? no, like, laugh my ass. Like, if, you, if you look back at avengers one with the hulk he was never that like tame like they, he wouldn't just hang out with them when they got was... on an elevator like hold on you know the rules like like just 30 <laughs> minutes earlier in that film he was it's ready hilarious. to kill black widow in the airship and he kill like, everybody there like but they I didn't changed get it. they changed him they like changed the hulk he's like funny as hell now yeah. he was funny Way in thor funny. ragnarok he was really funny yeah. i think that's like the Calls they want to make arms and shit mm-hmm. he's like funny as they, the hulk they want to make their most stronger care i feel like their stronger character is more comedy based so that way it takes yeah. away from like how powerful they are you know yeah yeah in a it's, way it sounds like they're just doing character development like he's becoming yeah. a dynamic they character are. instead of some flat fucking one-sided thing green this, thing this, that this, breaks stuff yeah, yeah. exactly it's, film, it's boring yeah he smashes shit around it was cool yeah. when he fucking took loki and banged him around fucking 12 movies ago but let's see some development let's yeah. see something new happen. he's funny now everyone has a, a really great full circle in this film without question yeah yeah that's good I'm, I'm glad that they're doing different things it seems like Jacob was upset about knowing that information, and some people are upset that that's what Get happened. Get over it. And but it's awesome. I'm and hearing all awesome. this, and you I'm would hearing... Watch I, would, I would have gone and seen it if I knew everything that happened. That's what I'm going to do yeah. right now. Yeah, movie. yeah. It's a, it's a good, Start fun Start to finish, movie. Yeah. it's great. Yeah, yeah, it rules. That's what I'm going to do right now. You guys are all telling me the whole plot to the entire... You can tell There's me, like, the, here's how it ends, and I'm going to go see the fucking movie. Jacob, what I'm trying to say is get the fuck over it, my yeah. guy. Like, Speaking, I think that it's hilarious that you're this mad about it, yeah. but... It rules. Speaking of the end, that that last scene before Tony makes the snap, oh yeah, that I am Iron Man line yeah. was added uh, after development and everything. Really, yeah, really? it was it's added. That way, in the no last one knew second. what happened yeah, because they they had watched the film back and it it went from like you know him fighting Thanos and then you know he notices it's gone and it cuts Iron Man and he snaps and then boom he's like a crisp saying his goodbyes and like you know he's got to have a line to say something yeah. and then like one like dork in the room was like how about I am Iron Man and they're like yes call Robert in now we're shooting it tomorrow yeah Dude, that rules because it's awesome. That line was powerful. Yeah, the line rules because he just says it. Dude, it's, yeah. That, well, because it started and finished it like the entire universe. The guy you know, that, at the end of the first film, that's what he says. I am Iron Man. The and artist. It's over. Uh, what's his name? The artist that uh, that came up with Thanos. He was in there. Yeah. He was in the film. Uh, th- he, 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 he came up with Thanos, Drax the Destroyer, Gamora, yeah. and Shang-Chi. And they gave him a Stan Lee cameo? Yeah, he's in the beginning during like an AA type of scenario where they're talking about the last five years. Yeah. Where everyone's like, just missing, gone. He yeah. said uh, the way Thanos disappeared with the snap is the way he he said that was the most true to his character. Once he saw the like what it actually looked like filmed and done he was like really hyped on it he oh was like, i'm sure he's like that's the it's like one of the only ways yeah. to kill him most likely oh yeah. no there's been a couple ways did they mark on thanos and with the quickness what was the eight what minutes. happened eight minutes it was, in that's what you're talking about head off. Yeah. beheads him in the beginning yeah. in a marvel movie he, Yo, beheading there's metal. game of thrones and, ned stark beheading in the and new. see the head go flying there off. was some blood the thing too is, it's not yes. it's, they mutilated him yeah. thor comes in they chop off his fucking arm and then they oh, cut off his head yeah that's hilarious they mutilated it was great did he try it's to talk his great. way out with his shitty philosophy? No, with he, his, no. he was like after, after, after the snap, and he like goes to this farm. He he's becomes like this up. weird wise old man, and he's just like, and he's like, also I, all fucked up. He yeah, destroyed, yeah, so he destroyed the, the stones arm. after he used them, and his arms all fucked up now. Yeah, and he looks all withered twice. away and shit. And he's sitting there, and he's just like living his life as a simple farmer. 
And the fucking Avengers come in and fucking murk his ass. Yeah, they just and, like, blow through his Nebula. house and fuck <laughs> yeah. him up. <laughs> they fucking destroy him. Like, he's, he's like in put, under a minute, like he's 30 seconds, on, like, they a, fuck him up. Yeah, he's cooking. Yeah. <laughs> he walks in, he, he puts a bag of potatoes down, and then he looks over at his stove and he stirs his little pot and it's like, bam, bam, bam. And people are chopping his fucking arm off and cuts his head off. And then so Nebula <laughs> said some shit to him and he's like, oh, daughter, I always, maybe I was too harsh on you. And then Thor fucking chopped his head yeah. off and they're like what'd you do and he's like I went for the head yeah I aimed for the head yeah. that's awesome <laughs> it yeah. is awesome like Thanos told Marvel him Marvel is before. doing shit correct yeah. like I like when you were saying that's unnecessary comedy they could have cut out for material I, I love disagree it. thoroughly yeah. because love that's it. what makes it fun is that they have but see, goofy that, comic book hilarious. humor that's, in it it doesn't have to be funny because it's morbid but in the scene that wasn't funny at all like he, he didn't say with a chuckle and then they flew off back to earth like it was a dark moment for everybody in the room I got yeah. you. I got, I'm saying I, I'm not saying that that moment it's is funny. Humor. I'm saying that Marvel gives you what you want. They give you satisfying shit. They give you a fucking beheading. You're and a, they give you shit for point. kids. Let's Good be point. honest. You're yeah. watching like, Avengers. You're an adult. There's no. I mean, there's children there, right? But yeah. mostly adults are the ones that are hyped about it because they know the lore. Those fucking kids are just watching yeah, another just superhero movie. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, 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 They're just yeah. watching fucking heroes on the screen. Woo! But you're but there. Got to do, you know the fucking they, the whole backstory. But Marvel has to do that though too. Yeah. They have to do all that and they do it all like. They really balance fucking it well. really well. Yeah. Yeah. Like and it's funny. Like some of that some of the shit in Thor Ragnarok is really funny. Yes. Like I think I, I, the best I, I, one. Dude, Next I watched it and I was like, well, I thought Guardians of the Galaxy had some funny shit in it. It was great. I yeah. thought I thought uh I, I think I think fucking Deadpool has some funny lines in it. Some of it's ho- hokey as shit. But like some of it's actually funny, and it's also like, supposed to be, yeah. which is what they get. Yeah. They get that it's supposed to be a fucking comic book but on the screen. It, but like those Avengers movies, like they're I the uh, Groot says three words and he's funny, you know what I mean? It's just how he or, says it. Or, or when he's baby Groot, he's like the cutest thing I've ever seen. You he's know, playing what I mean? with the detonate switch and yeah. stuff. Like, he's like do fight, not he, press this switch. He's always fighting them rats. It's really funny. He's like always fighting those rats and beating them up and shit. <laughs> it's funny. I'm like, damn, this is funny. And he's cute. And uh, I like and I like seeing Thor swing a hammer around. And, and the shit. special effects are crazy. Yeah. They've got just yeah. insane money. What is Disney making Marvel shit well, this now? This is a billion yeah. dollar movie. I think yeah. they spent a billion dollars making it. Well, it already it, made like three point two billion dollars. It's the second high, the second highest grossing film of all. Yeah, Avatar is still the most. They need yeah. to cut that fucking throat quick. <sighs> Avatar's it's great. going there. Avatar's, Avatar's great, great, but they, I want him to pass you know, it easy. That dude yeah. is taking way too long to put out his sequels. Yeah, and he they just, just delayed on the like James, fu- hold on a second. Did they really? James they fucking Cameron him. that you're talking about. Yes. He wants to make a masterpiece every time that he puts a movie out. He I'm allowed to be. More. I'm allowed to get mad about it. He has like three of the highest grossing films of all fucking yeah. time. I'm if he wants to, to take his time, three? let this man have it. Maybe two. It might just be Titanic and Avatar. And Avatar. But I thought that there was another one. I mean, he did the Terminator series. The man did fucking all Judgment Day. Yeah. yeah, I mean, he revolutionized Abyss. special effects as we know it. Yeah, he's a bitch. He traveled to the bottom of the Marianas Trench and took a fucking documentary of of it, and then that was incredible. he went the deepest that any human being's ever gone in the sea by himself. Just a film director decided right, yeah. he's gonna get a fucking submersible by himself at the pressures where the ocean, if it break, if a crack in the window appears and this water breaks in, immediately everything inside is ground beef and one half of a fucking blink of an eye. Like it's just it's all, it's all over. And this man did it, and then somebody had the audacity to rate it five stars out of 10 on imdb and i'm like you fucking cunts did you go yeah. travel to the bottom of the fucking ocean <laughs> yeah. take video the whole fucking thing discover some new fe- species what of you, fish what bad shit do you have to say about that son of a bitch like fucking what? nothing Th- that shit scares me it was me. dark down no, there i didn't like the, the fish what, didn't light like, up there was no giant squids what like what's like, your <laughs> fucking complaints you cunts they're like you know what it's too dark yeah, Five stars. <laughs> there wasn't enough lights. Sorry, but uh, this movie's too wet for my like. <laughs> <laughs> that's totally what I was a saying. Too though. much but water. I'm saying Not this is the messy. man. This is the man that's taking his time to make a movie. All right, give him some time. I less, think he's earned a little time. Less water, more fish. Cameron, nah, five I'm, stars. <laughs> just like, just like yeah. I said, I'm all about shaming. Last episode, I'm allowed to hate things. He didn't. He didn't find nothing. Five stars. Yeah. <laughs> you ain't find nothing. No original content. There was just sand and darkness down yeah, there. Yeah, it was just a bunch of water down there. Who cares? <laughs> <laughs> 
the same yeah. people on Catfish that are fucking rating yeah. this movie on IMDb. Yeah. So how many uh, subscriptions do you think HBO is going to lose as soon as Game of Thrones is over? All of them? Well, uh, not all, all of them, of them immediately. Dude, you know what looks good on HBO is that Chernobyl. I watched the first episode. Oh, I want to talk out? about this. It's so is it good. Out? It started yesterday. It's so fucking good. It's an only. It's a five-part miniseries. I don't want to see people's skin melt. Oh, I do. It's so dark. It's so Wait, dark it, right happens? out the gate. Oh right out the gate, the homie. You're I talking. I want to see people like. <laughs> I don't want to see that. And it's I real. See it. And, it, and you know real? it happened. And you know it happened. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's Chernobyl. Well, you yeah, I thought you were saying the shit on the like the screen was real. Happened in the seventies. Like, that'd or be wild. Right? Eighty six. Eighty six is when it happened. And I I saw the trailer in between Game of Thrones. And I'm like, ah, fucking stupid HBO. I want to watch. Get, and awesome. I almost clicked away from it, and they start playing that weird dubstepy music, and they're, they're sinking me into the trailer. And I was like, ah, I'll give them two minutes. Cody loves and dubstep. I'm, I hate dubstep, but like, they, they make they set. <laughs> if it's not black <laughs> metal, he doesn't yeah, listen. As soon as you <laughs> just even start making sounds with your mouth, He's I got a hard take dick. ecstasy and can't Dude, stop if dancing. You cancel your, if you cancel your HBO subscription, how are you going to watch Sex in the City, right, guys? <laughs> <laughs> Am I right? I fucking hate guys, that show. I love that show. Really? Yeah. No, you don't. Fuck yeah, I do. I don't believe you for a minute. I'm a total fucking carry, dude. Don't even talk to me like that. <laughs> I fucking, I fucking love that show, dude. Do you really? What is the appeal of watching Sex and I've never seen. I it. used to watch it with my mom. I was about to say my <laughs> stepmom would watch this show. Yeah, my mom used to watch like, that shit. There was episodes like he didn't eat my pussy right, and you're like, I'm like, yeah, mom, right? You know what I mean? <laughs> Why? I forgot about that. I used to watch Sex in the City with Barbie B all the time, dude. Oh my god. I was like, it's just a really good show. I I thought it was good. I thought it was good. I was like invested in these women's lives. How old lives. you still watch it? I was like 15. Yeah. Uh, my my girl. I live with my girlfriend, but her roommate, she watches Sex and the City all the time. And I'll pop in and be like, is she with Aiden yet? Like, I, I've, I've fucked with it. I'll, I'll be honest. <laughs> yeah, it's good. One of my uh, exes made me watch Desperate Housewives, mm -hmm. and I secretly loved that entire show. Dude, it was I, so I, much fucking craziness. I finished Sex and the City, two movies, and I finished True Blood, dude. I'm not True fucking Blood. around. I tried with True Blood. Oh, I, God, it sucks. Yeah, it's dude. terrible. <laughs> it's not yeah, good. It sucks. Like you're, you're hooked on it? No, it sucks. There's I straight sex it. and gay sex, and we got trans sex, and we got. Dude. Everything except for vampire lore. Like, it, what, what the fuck? And their I, blood uh, is an aphrodisiac, and it causes them to break out into crazy orgies every four minutes so yeah. that you keep watching this horrible fucking show with no plot that goes nowhere. I liked it. Until, I it. <laughs> until the th there's six seasons of True Blood, and I made it too. Because it was like a new take on vampire shit. It wasn't a bunch of old white dudes in cloaks biting people on their necks. Yeah. It was like cool. It was like Twilight. Uh, yeah, it was like cool, whatever. <laughs> And then the third, and then, dude, I, by the time it was over, I was like, yo, that show sucked. <laughs> it was bad. It like, took you six way. seasons to make yeah. a definitive. Dude, once I watch something, I finish it, dude. <laughs> I fucking finish my shows. That the helps, though, because when you want to go and talk shit about it with someone who loves it mm. earnestly, you can counterpoint hit by hit. Hell yeah, dude. And, oh, yo, HBO has Westworld. That's why you can't... I, that's true. I, I just, never started watching I that. just dug oh. my heels into it, and that it's show is so blowing Hold on. my fucking are you only, mind. Are you in the first season? No, I, ju I just started second season. Okay, the second season completely fucked... Maybe I'm an idiot. I com It completely lost me the whole time. It was supposed... Time. Dude, it was supposed to. I, I was to. like, I can't... I, I don't you, know what the fuck's going on. You I, got it at the end, didn't you? No, I just oh, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't finish it. Oh, dude. Yeah, because I was like, I don't know, no, I don't you, know what they're fucking talking you about. You have to finish it because you'll be oh, like... Oh, I can't wait. Oh, dude, it's so good. Yeah. The second season is, is I think, better than the first season. I, I was amped to start the second season after the, the first yeah. finale because, yeah. like, the... the, the she makes the scientists walk her around the place. Yeah, and and they go, they step into the other room, and there's samurai. That was super yeah, cool. And I was yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Oh, what? Yeah, like, dude. what else is out there? <laughs> yeah. Vikings or something? Like, yeah. come on, dude. dude I bet. Yeah. Oh, you it's haven't like, started the second season? Oh, yet? so Vikings are there, right? No, oh, no, okay. no, no. I'm like, I'm episode two is sec they uh, got, the second season. They got a like a. It's called Raj World. It's like India, like ancient oh. India. So there's like tigers and shit. Also oh, for like people to hunt animals yeah, or something. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and like, sick. And like go to like they, they're all in like tents and it's like you know it's got all that cool snake music and then yeah. it's like got like a bunch of hookahs and stuff and it's like all you ride on elephants everywhere. And that's where you start off in the second season on, like, the third episode. And then they have Samurai World. They have a full episode of it, of, yeah. the, of the Samurai. They have, like, two like a two-episode arc with that and then the regular world. 
And so the second season's fucking great, but yes. it is confusing yeah. as shit. Yeah, I, that show. Dude, is I so watched good. a really bad movie the other night. Do you What's like here? bad movies? Was yeah. it on HBO? It, no, this was on Netflix. Okay. Yeah, and it was called The Silence. Have you heard of it? Mm-mm. It's it's a fucking copy off of Bird Box and A Quiet Place kind of thing, you know. It's a hit trend. Actually, yeah, the thing is, stupid. I found out that that movie was based off of a book that was written way before either of those films. Really? Yeah. So. Well, they made a movie up at the wrong time. Yeah, they for did. sure. Yeah. It was about these these killer blind birds that are out in the middle of the this cave world, and someone opened it up, and they get out, and they t- eat everybody that makes a noise, and it's. Ooh, fucking scary. Stupid. So scary. <laughs> yeah, instead and of like, oh, like giant monsters, it's scary. like a swarm. Yeah, it's swarms of these birds, and it's just the dumbest shit. I thought it was one of the worst movies I've ever seen. Yeah, I, that shit. I don't shit like whatever. The, I don't, I, like, I, I can't watch, like, I mean, it's not because it's, like, scary, but, like, I can't, like, The Walking Dead, I, I made it through, like, this three seasons, and I was like, this shit sucks. I, 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 zombies, you've seen so it so to death. Everybody's, really everybody's going to be fucking, everybody's just going to be dirtier. That's all I'm doing is I'm watching a bunch of people run around get dirtier. Beards growing a little longer. Years. Yeah, I'm watching people not take <laughs> yeah. showers for 10 years, and there's a threat outside that never really threatens you that much. And when it does, it's like, oh, my God, that's the cliffhanger. It's like, he gets out of it. Just look, he's signed on for four more fucking years of the show. He's just going to get dirtier. Well, the fucking main character, he left the show. And now he has like three uh, a- AMC movies that are going to be coming out off The Walking Dead. They're all dude, like, why, yeah. dude? No, but and fuck there's yeah. another spinoff show being made. But fuck yeah for that guy because that guy is going to be a trillionaire because he got dirty for ten years. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. I don't hate his hustle. I just like oh, I don't like the show. I would, yeah, the if show's I was whack. that dude, I would have a fucking mansion with a zombie out in front of it, just a fucking marble statue. The uh, uh, a statue that cost three hundred thousand dollars. People would be like, "God damn!" You'd be like, "Yeah, that's what gave me that house. That stupid fucking dead thing. That's my I whole house." You saw the zeros in his morning. bank account. Yeah. Oh yeah, he's a, he's just out by a pool like woo. So who cares? <laughs> okay. Yeah, I mean, my mom loves it. There's there's a lot of people that love that shit, and it's just put not some, for me. Dude, I've, I've put seen some zombies dirt on to me death. And chase me around. It, well, it's like the as people as, like Big Bang Theory. Like it's just. Why? That show okay, is so rad. So I went to <laughs> the rad. gas. I went Have to the gas station. Sorry, the yeah. other, I went to the gas station the other day and I bought a drink. I bought uh, some stuff and I, I go to the the fucking cashier and she gives me like like a fucking offer like hey you can buy these two candies for like th- four bucks. I'm like all right cool. <laughs> Did and I, I, one of them is wait, don't wait. interrupt me. It's a it's a fucking, <laughs> I want to so bad. It's a Kit Kat right? And she goes. <laughs> Oh man, them Kit Kats taste so good after watching uh, Big Bang Theory after dinner. Damn, I was like, oh my god, I laughed so hard. I, I didn't, I didn't respond. I didn't say, oh yeah, I'm sure. Like laughed. I just laughed and walked out the fucking door. <laughs> Did you make it out before Speedway Steve hustled you for fucking three packs of cigarettes and shook you down real quick? Uh, I, if if he did, I would have spoken about it by now, Cody. All right, that's fair. That's I was going to mention that too. We'll that see the podcast first mascot. Thing I thought of if you in the gas station is Speedway Steve. Fucking Big Bang Theory is hot trash. It Have you so ever bad. seen it? Uh, no laugh track. Yeah. It's oh yeah. yeah. They're yeah. fucking assholes, dude. But, honest, like, but they, honestly, it's well, that's with dude, like every sitcom. There's, there's, yeah, it's oh, really awkward. The one Friends with no laugh track. Oh, that's, I bet that's crazy. Oh my god, it's so. Terrible. Do you think? Like, I don't know if I. I don't. I don't know. I never read up on it. But do they have like actual laugh tracks while they're like doing? I think this, so. Performing it, or is it just like? Uh-oh. Just use the key. Just use the laptop. That's fair. That does make more sense. Than yeah. Sorry, my keyboard work. is trash, and we need to get a wired one. Friend, <laughs> you said an def- issue for sixty-six episodes, and we haven't fixed it yet, but we'll get there. Friends, no laugh track. Yeah. Yeah. It's I right imagine there. it's horrible. All those sitcoms just suck ass. Yeah. Like, there's no fucking quality jokes there. They just have to crank an episode out every week in front of a live studio audience, and it just. Yeah, dude. Just the which top, one? The top, top one? one. Any yeah. of them? Yeah. I might get pulled off YouTube, but fuck it. I want to see this. Hey, but Seinfeld was still gold. Oh, yeah. That's great. I don't really care Kramer for Seinfeld. Kramer used to be a, an was asshole gold. on set because of all the physical stunts he would do, so he would get pissed off, and he was always a dick. Dude. If you ever see his like outtakes and shit when the, from the show, you'll see him go the fuck off on all the characters. Have you, screaming the N-word have left you and right. ever smoked a fat blunt while watching the episode where he's driving around New York on E trying to see how hilarious. low it'll go? You get so excited with him. Yeah. Yeah. You're like, just keep going, dude. You got it. <laughs> yeah. <That's> so good. <laughs> 
Because the end, they just keep driving. Yeah, they just all like well, the, the, he's supposed to be like taxiing a baseball driver, and he he he's late as fuck, but he doesn't care because he's invested now. Dude, my man on this clip, Chandler is wearing a fucking bowling shirt. He wear <laughs> he wore that a lot. Him and Joey. Didn't that used to be the comedy shirt? Like that was the shirt that you uh, went up onto a stage with. Guess. Not you. I totally but see that. Yeah. I'm saying a different generation, I would look long gone. Fucking crazy in a bowling shirt. You should have <laughs> wore one tonight. Should have. For the for the hour. Yeah. Let's see where this where this goes. Let's see how bad this I'm is. I'm starving. The setup is they're at a restaurant. Joey's there. Chandler's back behind him. Ross then... invited them all to watch something. It's a buffet, man. Here's where I win all my money back. I gotta talk to you. Sure. What's up? He's scooping a shitload of mashed potatoes on the plate. <laughs> it's eggs. <laughs> this Sorry. man's eating a ton of eggs. <laughs> it's really low quality, Rand. I'm not. Those are yellow oh eggs. God. That's huge. Hey. <laughs> Why wasn't I invited? I just don't think Monica and I are ready to get married yet, you know? I mean, I love her and everything, but seeing Ross and Rachel come out of that chapel was like a, like a wake up call that Monica and I are moving so fast, you know? And. Here comes How do I tell Joe. her about crushing her? Oh. Tell her she's not marriage material. <laughs> that was supposed to be the laugh. <laughs> oh, Can you imagine you just forcing her. yourself to laugh like with a straight face yeah. and a fucking <laughs> laugh? <laughs> that's my laugh track. <laughs> Did, look up uh, Big Bang Theory without a laugh track because that's oh pretty fucking God. funny. It's powerful terribleness. That show is, is just the worst. I feel like it's the cringy, some of the cringy shit on fucking television. Like, I know sure. a lot of people that, for some reason, would think that I'm someone who would like it, but I, I fucking hate that show. Ugh. Everything I've ever seen about it. What? It's just awful. It's, it's bad. It's cringe. It's, it's boring. It's so Big forced. Bang Theory. Oh, yeah. I've never, ever watched a single Dude, episode. Dude, it's so bad. Yeah, and I had, you don't need to. And for some reason, like, this is going to, like, that show's going to get grandfathered in. Like, yeah. that's going to be the next, like, sitcom that just gets looped for the next 10 oh, years. Oh, I know. I know. It's like King of Queens. Yeah. Oh, dude. <laughs> King of Queens was hot garbage. Yeah. <laughs> but at least we got Patton Oswalt out of that. You know? Yeah, for sure. But good Lord. Kevin James's comedy is, is trash to me. I'm sorry. I, I can't like, listen to you talk about food for 60 minutes. I like some of Kevin James's shit. I, don't, I think that he's a good comic. It's just not all the shit that I'm going to necessarily look up all the time. I think I he's a great comic, though. It. It's all about food. <laughs> well, it's I'm all, not going to. all about food. But anyways. I don't know that everything for Kevin James' entire fucking career is all about. I feel like he, he's had a sure different stance on another topic. There's like, a lot of it. Every and then now he got hungry. again, right? There's got to be about food. something you, more than just food, right? Why do you love Kevin James so much? Why I don't you love Kevin James. Kevin James. James. What what do you, has, you guys act what like I'm defending Hitler here. I heard, like, a, I heard a horrible story about that dude. What? Let's hear it. He uh, saw him up the river. This is a horrible story. Is this real? Yeah. He uh, He doesn't. He sends a big letter with his personal assistant to Foot Locker once a month near him or a shoe store uh, and the employees aren't to speak to him or look at him in the eye unless he tells you to go get his shoes which are size 11 so don't ask him for the size he'll specify and everything you want to ask him is relayed through his personal assistant I mean it's not really that horrible of a story he's just an asshole I thought you were going to say What kind of wow. entitlement? Rape yeah. three kids That's one ridiculous. time. Yeah. I was yeah. waiting for it. No, like, not that. I they slit their throats one by one and made their children we, watch them die. I think we would have heard Good more. Lord. But he's just a big prick is what I hear. It's like, he's like, he just goes That's into Foot Locker and he's, yeah, yeah. That's pretentious That's shitty, is all dude. hell. What would, the fuck's his problem, dude? Yeah, I would like, tear down a Foot Locker, dude. Why is Kevin James shopping at Foot Locker? That man's got enough money that he's got Amazon Prime for sure. And you know your shoe size, right? You can order you that shit wanna, online. You probably want to go out. Who yeah, told you, you this story, You can't Rand? just sit in your kitchen and Kevin eat food James. all day and come up with lame <laughs> yeah. jokes. <laughs> Kevin, Kevin James. Now, <laughs> I'm skeptical because Rand told me that he's starting a podcast <laughs> where he purposely sends out misinformation and lies. So I'm Kevin, just like. Kevin James told me that story. We text. <laughs> <laughs> they sexed. I'm like, what up? K-O-Q. And he's like, 
Is that right? King of Queens? Yeah. yeah. Just write more food yeah. material. <laughs> and he's like, and he's like, hell yeah, brother. I told all these people at Foot Locker to fuck off today. <laughs> like, what? You're the greatest KOQ. And then I don't talk to him. <laughs> I send him mass emojis like the tongue out with the fingers. Right. Yeah. Just cash emojis all day. Let mm-hmm. him know what you're doing. Yeah. Send me some shoes, daddy. <laughs> Kevin James, send me some shoes. <laughs> That's the, I think that's the message of this podcast is, Kevin James, let me get some sneakers. Yeah, Kevin James, send Rambo to close some shoes. Please, God. <laughs> all right, all right. Are we going to get into yeah. the Big Bang No Laugh Track? So this is your first experience. You've never, never ever got to never see the show. Never even heard a word of it. Oh, well, then this fucking works Dude, out even better. It's so bad. I'm excited. These it's, guys come off as such Should assholes. I describe it for the listener? Sure, yeah, okay. since they can't see it. Right now there's some science shit, okay? <laughs> Now, we're paused. Interior apartment that is too well decorated to be what I'm guessing from no- my knowledge of the show is three dumbass nerds. These nerds, <laughs> well, they're all dressed like, is it supposed to be, is it supposed to be the 70s? No, it's, no, it's modern now. day. They're all geniuses. Oh, yeah, I should have been able to tell by the, the TV that it wasn't the 70s. So why are they all dressed like, they look all, they all look bad. That's how smart people dress. They're fucking dorks. Yeah. yeah that's the biggest smart, dorks ever. You've obviously never hung out with any smart well, my people. Man is wearing that's what they fucking, look like. My man's wearing red pants, a gray polo with, a gray stylish, short sleeve polo with a long sleeve red polo underneath it. He's letting people know that he knows calculus. That's. Yeah, but <laughs> also you're dressed so stupid, nobody would think you were smart. They would think you got hit in the head with a brick when you were a kid. <laughs> right, they but he think, might be able to do some Rain Man shit after that brick comes flying down yeah, upon his cranium. You, you know what I mean? like even the smartest people like steve jobs wore a black turtleneck every day that's cool he didn't wear he also ate fruit to cure pancreatic he didn't cancer wear a I don't long know. sleeve polo underneath a different colored <laughs> short sleeve polo that's not the work of a genius that is that is the dressings of a moron that's very true come on man Okay, but that's just him. What about his sweet construction there, worker vest? I think he looks Look, cool. Look, he, he's With his rain like slicker going on in yeah. between that. I think he looks cool. He's wearing normal slip on, slide on vans and a black pants and a and a blue and, and an orange jacket. He looks fine. And the other guy's wearing a hoodie. This motherfucker in the middle is pissing me off. <laughs> and I don't know anything about this show, but I know I hate that character. For sure, yeah. Look at his bowl cut. Nobody likes a guy with a bowl cut. I don't even didn't even see the bowl. Well, what was that? That was me hitting the microphone. Cut. Being a oh. fucking idiot. I thought there was a cool ass drop or something. No, like, like All right, right now let's watch Big Bang Theory in the cave. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's let's get into it. Oh. Nothing makes beer taste better than. Ah, I ruined it. I gotta go back. Ah. Nothing makes beer taste better than cool, clear Rocky Mountain spring water. Where are the Rocky Mountains anyway? Philadelphia. The, hey, I, I thought hey, they were out west someplace. The guy that just said Philadelphia is the man I hate with every every <laughs> beat of my heart. <laughs> just that so dude, you know. That dude. That dude is there. How old are they supposed to be? Uh, uh, old as they look. They're, no supposed, idea. they're supposed to be in their twenties because the man that just said. Philadelphia. The guy I hate, he's 46 years old. <laughs> For real. They got like a wig on him to change his hairline and shit. Look at the. <laughs> They've got the Homer Simpson bit. wrinkle yeah. fix where they press his skin back and yeah, then they put dude. fucking clothespins clothes on the back. Yeah. Dude, you want to go back? You want it back to his face? Look at him. <laughs> We're at the Rocky Mountains anyway. Philadelphia. Philadelphia. <laughs> Really, I thought they were Did anybody pay attention to his belt buckle? Did yeah. we see a belt buckle no, right there? It would go right back to him. All right. Just think about it, Raj. Where did the movie Rocky 46. take place? Philadelphia. Okay, now I get it. Huge laugh. So that is a From huge belt on, buckle. Yo, why is she dressed the like she works at a Thornton's? I'm very comfortable <laughs> <laughs> Is she what supposed to be the hot one so- on the I- show? I believe so. She, I don't know much about the show or the dynamics of the show, but uh, I'm going to guess yes. Let me break down the lead female character in the, in the <laughs> Big Bang Theory. She looks like a woman that works during the day at a Thornton's gas station, and in the evenings on the weekends, she works at a Metro PCS. 
That's what she looks like. <laughs> wow. Cell phone store for poor people. That's very specific. Yeah. I would have guessed, like, you want me to tell you what's premium she is in a Boost Mobile. In the show, she is supposed to be the hot one. Yeah. And she she's a waitress at, like, a Chili's or something like that. Okay, that makes sense, too. But, I mean, dude, she, come she on. And a failed actress. <sighs> she's just wearing, like, a pink short sleeve shirt with like unicorn jammy pants but, but those jammy pants make me think that she sells fucking something to do with crystals, crystals and sapphire oh at the flea uh, market yeah. like I was convincing you of the power of sage sunglasses yeah sunglasses i don't know crystals are the move th- th- these days that's yeah, true dream catchers. people get more into rock essential oils. for some reason young, right. young geologists <laughs> and Benny stupid people that too why don't you shoot another silver bullet my way Get one yourself. Ooh, somebody's been taking bitchy pills. Oh. God, God these he's people an ass when he drinks. Never oh, would he's be an ass friends. when he doesn't. What? <laughs> these guys would never, like, whoever wrote this show was like, okay, we know where all the laughs are, but with the laughs off, that conversation, if any of your friends spoke to you that way. Yeah, they'd come <laughs> up as assholes. You'd be like, yo, get out of my home. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off. Yeah. Leave my home. Excuse Something's me? wrong with you. Don't talk to me in two word comebacks. Like we're on a fucking Bitchy show. Bitchy pills, huh? And pause and wait for the laugh that isn't coming. Bitchy <laughs> pills. I will call the police on you if you say that <laughs> yeah. in my house. I'm about to break a lease real quick. Yeah. Dude. Then you just don't hear it. God, that guy's chewing so annoying. We need to start entertaining the possibility <laughs> that Everything about him sucks. For years. <laughs> If that's the case, Benny will have to get satellite TV and maybe once a week run a vacuum through this place. Oh. He's an asshole, dude. There's another one. Is he a main character? Yeah, he's a main character. And they have other tracks of, like, no laugh tracks of this guy sitting in a restaurant going on a date. He's a fucking asshole then, too. Dude, I want to see what uh, the resolution. Can we please watch the last 50 seconds of this? Absolutely. I I thought you were going to talk to Sheldon. Oh, I did. Well, what did he say? Well, he pointed out that he kind of sort of had a put up with you. Kind of sort of had a? Well, I didn't agree with him. Well, you defended me, right? I tried. Who? Why is she scrubbing her feet on yeah, the couch? Don't do that. She's just sitting there with he made a, fairly a Brillo pad argument. and scrubbing the bottom of her feet. Not doing Over that, the right. chip bowl? Over the chip bowl. <laughs> Was she yeah, raised in no, a fucking yeah, barn? Trust me. I do this for my mom. She's from time. Nebraska. Uh-huh. There's other nerds trying to get a damn really? foot job on ABC. Look how close it is to his dick. Wow, that for is sure. Better. For sure. Someday when he you exchanged the Brillo veins, pad for his I'll dick. Show you how to massage them. That was uncomfortable. Let's see if we can get the date one. The date one is bad. I don't think we need yeah. to watch yeah, any more Big yeah. Bang Theory yeah, for the rest of my life. That's enough cringe for the rest of my life. <sighs> Man, I used to get roped into watching that bullshit for free dinner over at Joe's house. Like, Joe's parents would turn on Big Bang Theory, and they'd be like, it's my favorite show. And I was like, oh, great. I know that fucking... sit there and watch it while they laugh, like, genuine belly laughs at the shittiest material. And then there, Bob's a big, giant gorilla of a man. And but he's, he's so awesome, Fucking though. hitting you in the arm with his big, giant mechanic wrists and shit, like, just nudging you with his elbows. Bob's so like, fun to have fun Fucking trying to though. eat, man. I get it. The joke was funny. I... It wasn't, but I appreciate this meal, and I'm not gonna fucking lie. Or I'm gonna lie for this meal. Like, <laughs> wow. I don't, lie don't think. For this I don't. Meal? I don't. I don't. I think it would take a crazy meal <laughs> for like a, you to sit through a whole episode. Yeah, you'd have like, to be like, "Hello, sir." <laughs> like white towel on the arm, like a bow tie, and I would have to be in my own private area with the TV on. And they'd be like, we're going to bring all the food to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, like, it would be, you would have to treat me so well. Well, Rand, let me tell you what I was working with. watch that show. Paper plate full of Kraft macaroni. Yeah, man, I would throw that shit on their (laughs) living room floor (laughs) and be like, I'm never coming back here. (laughs) We're not friends anymore. (laughs) You know? I've been thrown out of that house so many fucking times for yeah, doing like, absolutely hey, nothing. This time, I'm never. throwing myself out. <laughs> <laughs> See you guys. I'm done. I'm I'm pulling in everything, putting pushing all my chips. I'm I'm all in to leave forever. I don't want a chip on the table because you gave me macaroni on a paper plate and put on Young Sheldon or whatever it's called. Yeah, Big Bang Theory. Well, I was way less aggressive than you. I was in their basement taking bong yeah, rips. I would have been like, arr, arr, arr. 
coming upstairs, <laughs> barely able to speak to adults at the time, and then yeah. fucking they're offering me food, and I just got to watch this shitty show. All right, I'm real hungry. Be like, right yeah, now. I'll take you downstairs with the weed. I'll see you. <laughs> <laughs> that was the my, move now that I think about it. I want to hang out with my friend, not you guys <laughs> watching TV. Actually, the nicest thing you could have been just be like, you could have went like, thank you so much for the I'm good. I'm good. I don't want to disturb you guys watching the show. I hate this show. It's a bunch of nerds. Okay, see you. <laughs> no, they pull the please, please, we insist. Pull the chair out and shit, and that's when you really can't say no. Be like, I can only eat outside. Why don't you have a seat? <laughs> that's the only way that I feel comfortable eating. Yeah. I have to oh, take well, my... we'll open the blinds yeah. and the window, and you oh, can that... see through the Thank kitchen. You. And they Oh, okay. Well, cool, now awesome. I can stand while eating outside in the cold. I can only eat if I'm facing east. <laughs> <laughs> like the Taoists. <laughs> I don't think that's true. I think I made up a thing for a religion that I'm not sure is real that, either. I kind of hope that kind of yeah. radical law is in place. Somewhere. Yeah, I sleep I, I sleep facing west and I eat, eat eating east. <laughs> Easting. We've learned a lot about you today, but I think primarily we've learned that yeah. you can get the fuck out of anything. You've yeah. got an answer for oh, all of it. Dude, yeah, I'm good at it. You're good at quips, for sure. Yeah, good at getting out of stuff. <laughs> it's my favorite. Yeah. Uh, any kind of thing. Anything? You know, anything at all. You don't know how close I was to not coming here. And no, it's I 15 do. 15 minutes away. There's other guests. <laughs> well, well, let me the, be the first to say thank you yeah. for and coming. It's only because there's a documentary about a child molester on HBO I want to watch anyways. But I I I watched it already. Oh yeah. Yeah. What oh, wait, you're saying the only reason that you, that the you gymnast, did come the gymnast. That gymnast guy. He was a doctor for oh, the Olympics. Oh, yeah. The dude who was touching all the Olympic athletes. All of the Olympics. All of them. He got like 400 years in prison. What <laughs> happened? Hold on. What Set this up for You never heard about this? Oh, wait. This? I think I did hear about this yeah, shit. No. This shit is wild. What happened? Yeah. Tell he me the story. Jail. He had got like tw- 10 life sentences or something yeah. ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. It's th- tell, crazy. Tell us. Tell us a little bit about His it. His name's like... Uh, Dr. Fucking Jerry Mike. Mander. What's his name? His name's fucking Gromuel a man. <laughs> his name's uh, Larry Nasser. Boom. <laughs> Ran. His name's Larry Nasser, and he was uh, uh, the team doctor in the Olympics for gymnastics. And he would just straight up in front of people's parents be like, okay, well, now it's time for your vaginal exam, which they never have to do. And they would say he would just not use gloves. And like he did it for, since like the 70s. To like all these in front of the parents, yeah, and then since the parents saw and they didn't know any better, he would start be, like the moms are on there like I should I should have known that nobody needs to be checked out in their doctor's basement at their house because he has a table down like it's wild, and then he's a fucking true piece of shit. Th- this and this that, parents sound as culpable as this this parents to let that girl I mean, like it's, it's, it's the same thing as like the Michael Jackson thing yeah. and the parents are like. Well, I mean, he would send my son over to the room every night, whatever curfew I sent. That reminds me of you know. Abducted in Plain Sight. Have you seen that right. shit? Yeah, exactly. Oh, my. That was some fucked yeah. up shit. Yeah, dude. But where the dad's like, so I reached I over and I him. jacked him off. And you're like, whoa. <laughs> He's in tears thinking yeah. about how he could have got sweet butt sex you're instead. Like, dude, my man, you didn't need... <laughs> To jack, there's been so many times I've been in the car with one of my friends and been like, "Hey man, why don't you jack me off?" <laughs> I just need to like, be relieved. Can no, you relieve me, man? Because they knew I was joking. <laughs> but that, I couldn't even ride shotgun with that man. He would have been jacking me off up and down every street. <laughs> Sounds like you found another hookup. Yeah, dude, my <laughs> jack off man. Yeah, my, my Uber that jacks me off. <laughs> when just I I had just joked to him, "Hey, you should jack me off," and he does. He's the best Uber driver in the Cincinnati area. His name is... Fuck, what was that guy's name? On abducted in plain sight. What was his name? Fucking Ted. Rick. Bill. Bob. Billy. Bobby. I don't know. We can't save you. I didn't even watch the documentary. Oh, it's good. It's worth it. It's yeah, fucking it's wild. Yeah. Insane. Yeah. This dude, like, basically wanted to steal... Uh, wanted to kidnap this He's- little daughter yeah he fell in love with a 12 year old he fell in love with a 12 year old yeah of the next door neighbor's family and basically like swindled his way into having like a key to their house he can like he made this crazy love triangle between like the parents yeah basically he got the mom to fall in love with him yeah yeah and then they had an affair and then he had this like this pedophile had this fake therapy thing that he came up with because mm-hmm. he used to be a therapist, I guess. Yeah. And he had these fake tapes. And he says, the only way I can calm down is by sleeping in the same bed as your 12-year-old daughter. And they let that shit happen for six 
months. Yeah, dude, that's wild. And then he kidnapped her, and that's what the whole show's about. Yeah. And the the parents didn't call the fucking police. Did the parents or go to the, jail forever no, at the end of this no, documentary? No, 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 not at all. They're on the fucking documentary. They should have shot him in the it. head with the court in the courtroom, like bang, bang. Now so, and then they make a public I feel service like we announcement. Had that exact dude, the parent, the parents are just as fucking bad. Yeah. Like yeah. the parents basically enabled this whole situation yeah, for sure they didn't call the cops for five fucking days i think it was five days yeah. after she was kidnapped no, it was like 11 days or something ridiculous it was wild yeah. it was insane like oh he'll come back Dude. haven't heard from him at all yeah. and then they come back and he like took they her to defend- mexico would they sign an aff- affidavit yeah for that him? was like yeah he's allowed to take her to mexico yeah he they he signed an affidavit because so- he said he would tell everybody that he, he got dad was sucked gay. off by the dad and he honked the mom's boobs. Were the yeah. 70s just a lawless time where I you could guess, fucking man. live Dude, like a cowboy yes. still? So like anyway, that gym, this guy, he got like 4,000 years or something. Good. Fuck that yeah. guy. Yeah, that's been fucking shit. garbage human being. Did you hear about that kid that started that fucking practice uh, uh, where he was like, I forget what the fucking term is, but he was like a vagina doctor. You ever hear about that? No. Where he got busted like twice for opening up a fake practice and it was some 17 year old kid. Doing like vaginal like practices. That doesn't even sound real. I'm a gynecologist. It is. A gynecologist. My bad. I could not think of the fucking word. He's got uh, some stirrups in his little up. fucking room with this poster of Justin Bieber right next to it. It's ridiculous. If you look it up, it, you will see it. But it, you don't have to if you don't want to. But can, if you're at home, look it, look it up. It's a uh, look up kid fakes being a gynecologist, and it's this kid that was 17 years old, and he or something like that, and he just convinced all these women to come in for gynecology work. It was ridiculous. But that would Swinner makes me think of the gymnast. You know, I uh, th- I saw. Did you have, have you seen that video of the woman in the courtroom? <laughs> it says for second time in a year. <laughs> <laughs> this this picture, oh, the Tim. Uh, he came up with a fake picture. Is dude. this real? How credible yeah, is totally media? I no, it's totally real. That dude, it was, it was Snopes, all over the news. Snopes. I don't, Snopes, yeah. it's real. Around the web, amazing x-ray vision, night glasses block aggressive lights while driving. Pat, this is not a credible website. Dude, this, this is one of the only... <laughs> <laughs> the picture was Coca-Cola going into a bowl of cornflakes, and it said, do this immediately if you have diabetes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't trust uh, anything from this Look up a different website. web page if you're not comfortable with it, but it totally is a real thing. <laughs> we get Snopes. Like, totally CNN. Yeah. Snopes this. So give yourself worse diabetes <laughs> that if you picture, have diabetes. His doctor picture looked like a fucking senior photo shoot. Yeah, that was him. Dude, that kid rules. Te- there you go. Just pick up the next one. Sun I swear to God, Sentinel. it's real. What is the Sun Sentinel, Patrick? This is where Pat gets all of his news. Just read the article. Hold it's on, hold on, there. hold on. Can we go oh, wait. There? This is real? Then this yeah, kid- this is totally real. Oh, so then this kid does not rule. I thought he, like... No, he's a piece of shit. I thought you were talking about an Onion article, dude. No, you guys just been whooshed. It's totally real. I thought this shit was South fake. Florida teenagers totally in a jail real. after he played doctor with real patients for the second time in just over a year, authorities say. Malachi Love Robinson, 18, known as Dr. Robinson. Well, didn't change his name. I don't know why he wouldn't have done He also Dr. went by Dr. Love. Love. Oh, he yeah. went by Dr. Love, too. Of course he did. Of course his, he did. <laughs> to his patients was arrested after he allegedly gave physical exams and medical advice to people, including an undercover officer <laughs> at a holistic <laughs> medical care clinic. He found it in West Palm Beach, dude. How are you 18 with the capital to fucking also, found a can, holistic clinic? Can you imagine you go to work as a cop that day, as a female cop who's worked through all the adversity? Guess what we got you doing to today? Be, <laughs> to become a female detective working undercover. And they're like, hey, yeah, there's this kid in West Palm Beach that wants to look at your pussy. If he does, arrest him, all right? Yeah, if you, have a good you day. pull it out. That's your assignment, Stace. Get out there. <laughs> I almost did a spit take on four hundred dollars worth of equipment. I was you're like, just, oh, you're oh, just no. like, oh fuck, man. <laughs> but dude, on the adverse, if I was a detective and somebody was like, Hey, there's this lady checking men's penises, get out there, I'd be like, Yes, sir. You got it. Yeah. You'd be like if the cop looks, from South Park, yeah, like who finishes fucking him and it's like, Freeze, you're under arrest. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's if you don't have to fuck him first. <laughs> if that lady looks at my penis, <laughs> I will so arrest her, dude. <laughs> arrest the shit out of her. I'll man. arrest anybody that looks at my penis. You're saying penis. Yeah. Purposely. Have you been saying penis your whole life? No. I okay. just started it. That's I love fair. it. <laughs> 
trend said. Keep it going. Did you guys know that Joaquin Pemis is going to be the new <laughs> jokesman? The new jokesman? Yeah. I, you joking I my ass right now? Are yeah, you excited I think, for I think the... it's going to do good. I do too. I love Joaquin Actually, Pemis. Actually, the, he's a the trailer actor. looks fucking awesome. Yeah. It Dude, looks fucking really good. I fucking love Joaquin Pemis because all of his movies, he's so good, you know? Yeah, he's just a real good old boy. <laughs> Give us a real... A real giant, a real great review of why here's you a, like Joaquin here, Pemis. Here's a breakdown of Joaquin Pemis. He's really good in the movies he's in. Next. That's a fact. Yeah. Next question. <laughs> Philip Seymour Hoffman. Love him. Rest in peace. Nasty trick to fix skin sagging at home. Where are you finding these? They're on the side. I, I, don't, I don't trust any of your websites right now, buddy. Well, I don't know. I didn't pick them. Yeah, you the one them. thing said, pour a fucking Mexican Coke into a... Thing of frosted flakes if you have diabetes right now. Right now. That's you crazy. You believe number seven. Like, kill yourself, yeah. basically. Yeah, they'd be like, hey, you want to go blind immediately? <laughs> Watch this. Or don't. Listen to this. Even though these websites that Cody picked are shit, this is totally a real thing. Go how, ahead and look it up. Dude, how are this, you so this positive? Moment. I'm totally positive. I've, I've read it on hey, CNN. Hey, will you go back to that website so I can take a photo of that ad with a my phone? A million percent you can. Okay, hell yeah. Did you guys see the uh, the new screwball rules. thing that uh, the Billy Corbin on, article or whatever the be fuck? The same thing. Damn. What 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 happened with? Billy oh Corbin? no, where is it at? Billy Corbin, the dude that made Cocaine Cowboys, what Cocaine Cowboys, and a bunch to of other shit. You. Oh man, do you want me to just forward you this page right now, Ryan? <laughs> no, no, because I need the diabetes one or give me death. You know what I mean? If you have diabetes, do this right will you now. Re- will you reload the page? Yeah. I will. <laughs> Thanks, the rest of the, the end of the podcast is going to be re- reloading this page until I get that fucking thing. He takes the picture and he's like, well, I'll see you. Oh, uh, yeah. Come on. Come on, diabetes. They can't have that much fake stuff. What Without was... question, they do. I know. <laughs> around the web. I wonder if there's just like a, can I just click on the around the web part just to get it? I'm going to reload it again, Ryan, but I don't know how think, successful man. we're going to be. Oh, shit. One of the sharks is coming to Cincinnati. Who gives Kevin a fuck? Kevin O'Leary. My shark tank. <laughs> Who gives a fuck? I see those. That Do dude this. has so much fucking money. Every time that I get on YouTube, fuck. there's another advertisement of him. I yeah, it's Kevin not happening. No bueno. Excuse me. I'll see if I can find it for you. Do we have another uh, topic before we end this? We have something else that we were waiting to get into desperately. Damn, I was so psyched on the the do this if you have diabetes right now. Well, uh, let's uh, dig into uh, any of your dates. You got dates coming up, man. None of your business. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, let me yeah, let me look at my calendar. Do you guys have other shit to talk about, or do I do you want me to look at my calendar? Uh, well. I'm trying to talk to you. Well, that's probably the best way to do a podcast, right, yeah. Luke? In yeah, fact, you think that Seriously. having our guests look through their calendar is yeah. the, no, the best way to do a, a format where we're talking and having conversations? No, I was, fuck, I was fucking around. What is today? <laughs> okay, found it. Um, It'll be coming out this Sunday. Oh, okay, this Sunday the 11th? Yes. Okay, so then just go to Go Bananas. Just go, Just go up to, go to the bananas. comedy club on Wednesdays. Uh, it's it's the best place to see comedy. Jimmy Par- or Sally Brooks is this week. Next week is Jimmy Pardo. Um, well, if this comes out on Sunday, then Sally Brooks is over. So next week is Jimmy Pardo, and he's fucking unbelievable. He writes for everyone. He writes for the late. He writes for Conan, and he's like. Stand-up comedy-wise, he's a master. Is he Crowd just coming work. through town, or is yeah, he... Yeah, he's been on, like, comedy, bang-bang, and all kind of... Go see Jimmy Pardo. Go see a show at Go Bananas, because it is worth it. I just went to the Stanhope one, and that was a phenomenal experience. I had a real good time The room down is there. so good for stand-up. No matter where you sit, it's so good for stand-up. And Go Bananas is fucking great, and it's pretty inexpensive for a comedy club. I've seen Jeff Tate out there a bunch of times. He's yeah, a fucking phenomenal local comedian. He's a good dude from all the times that i've met him and shit like that i mean he's just fucking Let me get... hilarious every time that he shows up oh this saturday it's already over god damn it, it is indeed Blast. um i had i had a date for saturday let me i have an open mic every thursday uh at corinthian in clifton if you live in the cincinnati area that uh it starts at nine o'clock and it's it's great I, I usually it's we have people that are headliners that have been on comedy central and shit if they're in town they come do the mic um, follow me on Instagram at Ram Barnaclo. Uh, right on. Smoke that. <laughs> I have other shit, but uh, it's far in advance. So 
Just follow Ram Barnaclo on every social media that you can find him on and yeah, fucking go I'll to be, his show I'll of Bananas. In, yeah, I'll be in Cleveland. I'll be in Lexington. I'll be, like, out of town. He's on the move. He's around. Yeah. Check him out, folks. Yeah, just if you follow me on Instagram, you'll find out where I am. What kind of fuck shit do you get into on the road? Like, is there, like, just complete darkness and sadness on the road? I'm or is not, it fun? Or, I'm not like, dep- what is the... Dude, I'm not, like, a person that's really very sad. I'm not, like, I, I don't know what that's like. I mean, I, I empathize with people that, uh, that are, go through, like being depressed or thinking i i mean but i'm i'm not like i just never really have that I'm i not just very meant anxious. like the loneliness of being like by yourself in a hotel room night after night and dude fucking... i fucking kind of love it really yeah dude a nice break from everything hey yeah, jamming around i watch whatever show i want i eat a fucking ice cream in bed jack off with the lights on fart as loud as i want go in the bathroom and i'm like Hurr! it doesn't matter <laughs> you know what i mean <laughs> I, I talk to the TV. I'll fucking go eat a eat a break eat a little breakfast, get a little coffee, and then yeah, yeah, I, I love that kind of shit. I like I like I like it. That's but, I mean, I don't want to do it. I don't want to. I could see how it would get depressing after like months and months and months of doing it. But I'm lucky enough. I only get to do it like, you know, a couple times a month. I get to you know I'll go out and stay the night somewhere, and then I'll fucking. I just think that it's Come awesome home. that you could be like creative and just make like a just being a funny fuck, just being the funniest fuck in the room can be like your job because you yeah. like you come on the podcast and you're obviously the funniest one in the room it's, like immediately like you, it's what you're supposed to be doing. The fact that you can monetize that is awesome. It would. It doesn't pay that much, and it's it's right now. It's just legit. Well, hopefully, someday it will. If not, that doesn't matter. I'll still probably do that. You know, I'll just be a guy that's like, man, never got my shot, but. Uh, <laughs> Thanks just for having me on your podcast for the 334th time, boys. <laughs> it's it's been fucking great, yeah. I'm just like, let me tell you about Lorena Bobbitt. And you're like, you already did that, you fucking fat fuck. Yeah, no, I, no, I, I, hope, I hope it is like a, I, it gets to be like a thing where I pay my rent and put food in the cat's bowls. You mm. know what I mean? You got cats? Yep. Yeah. Are you a cat, more of a cat person than a dog Hell person? Hell yeah, dude. Fuck dogs. Whoa. Why say I'm just fuck easy dogs, maintenance? Right? Stink. Can't they just exist? Nah, fuck them. Get them out of here. No, actually, <laughs> a main thing with humans. You're such a happy guy. To humans hate dogs gaining like that. intelligence is because of dogs. Uh, from like from like years and 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 years ago, humans didn't ever have the camaraderie between an animal and a person, and dogs ushered that in, and it actually like upped our intelligence as a species hmm. from being with dogs cats they we hung out around cats and people were like fuck this fucking thing it tastes like shit and they they yeah they don't listen yeah and dogs they on they the other listen. hand delicious dogs on the other hand good and good snugglers and they don't have like 10 knives on their feet but like i just like cats better they're they're cool they're like real fun i i don't mean fuck dogs i actually really like dogs a lot i grew up with dogs and cats i'm a cat boy though I learned recently that dogs, uh, whenever you're playing with them, they'll sneeze. And the reason that they sneeze is so that way you know that they're not being aggressive with their bites. And I was like, that's pretty fascinating. They just do that. And now I know I can't unsee it. I have, oh, I have two dogs and two cats, so cra- I get the best of both worlds I still and the think worst. It's crazy that cats didn't evolve enough to ha- know to poop outside, they still have to poop in sand. Because they're like from the desert or whatever. Originally. Would you prefer them to poop outside? Is that real? Yeah. That's why? Yeah, dude. That's they're not all from the use. desert, man. That's Some why, of them that's came what, from the forests and shit yeah, like but that. That's Mountain why, lions. That's why domesticated cats know to cat. use domesticated cat. Domesticated. Like Egyptian style cat. They're, they, they're, that hasn't been bred out of them enough. To be like, oh, I still have to poop in sand. My mom has a feral cat colony. So yeah. trust me, plenty of them shit outside. Well, but now like, they, of course now they do because they have to. But if you but a domesticated cat that has been domesticated, yeah, knows to poop in a litter box, knows to poop where See, the sand notice, is. Notice how he said domesticated, and then you were like feral, the exact opposite. Yeah, yeah. that's why it yeah, doesn't yeah, work. Yeah, yeah. You fucking <laughs> idiot. No, the domesticated ones go outside and they poop out there too. I think that you just train them to shit in a box because you don't want poop on your carpet and your couch. But then why does why it have to be sand? Yeah, exactly. And why don't we? Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck you. And yeah, also, bitch. dumb piece of shit. And also, why don't we treat? We train dogs to poop in sand. Yeah. If they're That'd so be more fucking It'd be way smart. easier. I would love to have a dog then if it could shit without waking me up and making me take it out and fucking being annoying and getting into shit, chewing through the side you know of the garbage you, can. You know how you do that? You know how you train it? <coughs> Just let it poop in your house then. Be a dirty person. 
Yeah, well, I've got a friend that has a pig that lives inside the house, and they just lay, they just roll out a big carpet mat and they train it poop there, and it just sprays pig diarrhea all over the fucking floor. <laughs> oh, and man, I that, don't want to live like that. Can I say something? That house <laughs> sucks. Disgusting. No, actually, uh, place I don't is know, huge. I don't know your friend, but their living. Oh situation, my god! What the their, fuck? Their living situation <laughs> fucking disgusting. sucks. Disgusting. I'm sorry. I don't know your friend. I'm looking. I'm looking at. I'm looking at. Our pigs must be like high. high <laughs> <laughs> hygienic hey man fuck no they live a, in slop i know pigs are smart they and suck. i know some people psychos think they're cute but <laughs> i don't want pig arid pig diarrhea in my home where i sleep <laughs> no but you know luckily I mean? they put it in the walkway the only oh, way to get luckily. in the house yeah, yeah luckily that's a nice thing luckily, that they do it's right in the beginning and so then, the rest of the house sucks no but wait they like, got it <laughs> like they, no matter what, what do they do like roll it up and just toss it out or I have they no wash idea it? they have this tiny it was a tiny cute what pig if you think pigs are cute and at one point and then luke's <laughs> looking at me because he knows who i'm talking about and yeah, he's like there's gonna luke, be some luke is so blow back from this there's conversation absolutely gonna be blow oh fucking well here's <laughs> here's how it feels going into your house with a grown-ass pig in there it's a problem it's okay. a problem. Okay. That's it's scary hog. as fuck. That's why no. I can't come over okay. anymore. Because you're trying to eat food at the dinner table. <laughs> There's a whole ass hog about to knock the whole dinner table over. And not one member of the family's addressing it. I'm say? like, it's trying to eat my shoes. And they're fucking, the, and they're like, yep, it'll do that. And I was like, no, I'm going to kill your pig in front of you all with this steak knife that you provided me for dinner. Thank you for dinner. But I'm going to kill this pig because it looks like and it can fucking eat me. So Can I say that? Oh, can man. I say that? I don't mind. I don't know these people. <laughs> can, I, can I say I don't mind? The great people. I don't mind if you live with a pig. And, you know what I mean? <laughs> they would burn outside. Like that. No, no. I'm just saying. That's, you say it like that's that. great if you want to live pig in your house. Pet the pig. Pig sits on the couch. All good. I'll come over. I'll be like, oh, that's a cute pig. That's crazy. I've never seen a pig in a house. I'd love it. Okay. But I got to say the one place where I feel like it really goes off the track of just a normal living situation with a pet is when you said they put down a pad of carpet. In their defense, I don't know if they do this anymore. Pigs spray diarrhea in their walkway of their house. Now, I don't know if this That's is... That's the only problem I have. I don't know these people, but I, I'm sure that your pig is lovely. I'm sure he has a cute name, Sergeant Bacon, whatever, and something like that. But... I got to say, where it goes south for me is where you let your pig open its animal asshole on a carpet roll and it sprays shit all over your house. That's why I wouldn't come over. Joe and Kayla, I love you guys, but... If it pooped outside, fuck, he's it, right. I would be like, I'd love to see that. I would love to see that who? pig in the house. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's them. Yeah, I don't know. You're right. You're a million percent right. Oh, now, in fairness to them, I haven't been over in a long time. No, they're great people. I love them. But, uh, they're, not gonna like, they're not going to like... In fairness to they'll them... They'll find you, but they, they're cool with us. They're, I haven't seen Oh, the, what? I'm uh, getting in trouble for this? Luke, is there still a paper towel roll where they let the pig shit inside the house? I don't go in that area. Yeah, because it scares you, right? To have a whole <laughs> fucking pig. Oh, you don't go. Well, An no, area because, of the house that scares like the, you. It's bigger than him. He's well, a small fella. He, he's huge. And the few times I've been in that area, you <laughs> what the fuck? Like, it's it it's like yeah, it's it's like followed me around the table till I try to nab at me, and like like you said, it's like it bites at you. It's played. It's off. uncomfortable. Yeah, it's it's super uncomfortable. <laughs> and it snorts so, the whole so time. I, so I just you know I hang out where they hang out, and it's they have a barn outside with other pigs, and I'm like, put it in there. What are you doing? You have a pig house. So hold on, big ass pig house chickens outside fucking in goat, this house and you let the pig inside what the fuck are you doing in this house when luke goes over there <laughs> there's a ravenous <laughs> giant hog. Fuck yeah there is yeah, yeah. i it's a problem like uh, there's I, biting can recall, at people. I can recall one time if it's biting at people, whole roll of if i paper. came over to somebody's house and their little dog was biting at me i'd be like i'm not comfortable with this i, I can but there's a fucking diarrhea hog. spewing <laughs> giant feral pig in the house no thank you no i don't take back what i said here's the thing though their house i don't know how it is now but every you time that i've ever been on this there, bridge to the ground their house is fantastic like they keep it immaculately clean That's but there's a true. wild pig in the house and I'm, they keep it immaculately clean nice fucking giant piece of land there's a whole pond a fucking barn like it's nice they keep them the lawn mode like they do lots of work they're great people i love them all but like the fucking pig in the kitchen is a problem, and the fucking the diarrhea hallway that you're not allowed to go into, otherwise fucking Sergeant Bacon tries to take your feet yeah. off. Like, is that his name? No, yeah. thank you. 
Yeah. Is that his name, the pig? I thought you were asking if it that was the name of the be. diarrhea hallway. I don't know, but I'd hang a sign up that said that's what it is Such to keep can I say newcomers <laughs> to that can I pig say house from walking into the can diarrhea. I say this? If I had a lovely, if I had a lovely home, as you guys described this, home, <laughs> it's phenomenal. It sounds phenomenal. Big it sounds nice lovely. fish tank, yeah. nice carpet, nice white car- carpet, nice carpet with a pig in the house. Can I all, white? Can keep I, going. Sorry, I'm stepping on your dick. Can I also say I don't want a diarrhea hallway? <laughs> <laughs> the feature I can think of a lot of other features of a house that I want and diarrhea hallway doesn't make the list not one time I've never been like yeah if I ever get a mansion of course I'm gonna have a studio I'm gonna have a, a nice little bar where you can smoke cigars I'm gonna have a big library oh also don't forget to tell the guy that's doing the construction I want a fucking diarrhea hallway for my hog my feral angry hog make sure the kid what did I say no I said diarrhea hallway. make sure the the guy gets that it's like some H.H. H. Holmes yeah. type of shit yeah you know, I want like- a diarrhea hallway and make sure you don't put that anywhere near the pussy blood hallway <laughs> that I want for my dogs that'll go upstairs God, that'll disgusting. go upstairs my dogs don't get spay <laughs> you know the rule so we got diarrhea pig hallway dog pussy blood hallway is there anything else what about the room of flies do you want to get the room of flies the in plague. there yeah let's get the fly room in there <laughs> also I want a room that's just all <sighs> black mold so I can go in and take, <laughs> take a sniff <laughs> Tell the construction worker all of my needs. <laughs> we're not going to end it better than this. No, we're not. There's no way it's getting better. Ladies and gentlemen, that was Ram Barnaclo. <laughs> yep. Oh, shit. Dude, thanks for coming on. Thank really? You for coming thank on. you for, for n- <coughs> watching that HBO documentary and having 15 minutes thank you for to burn to come over. Oh, yeah, it's Hulu. Uh, <laughs> no, thanks for having me, dudes. I appreciate yeah. it. Yeah, Hopefully man. we have you back on again soon. Yeah, All right. I'll come back on. Hell yeah. Check man. out Rumble Lips, Fuck Faces, and also Thanks K Fantastic. Like well. And uh, yeah, for uh, sure. Cuddle Brothers. That too. All right. Cuddle Brothers, me and Carl Spath. All right. See Deuces. you guys next week. We've never. Wa-